to welcome the guests who are the present here to attend the ISPR sponsored webinar series on a reappraisal of systems and problems. For celebrating the central year of Professor S. N. Das Gupta's History of Indian Philosophy on the occasion of Indian Philosophers Day. Respect to my teacher, Professor Ganesh Prasad Das. Respected today's chairperson, Professor Tapan De. Respected chief speaker, Dr. Atul Kumar Nanda, Professor of Sanskrit, Rashtriya Sanskriti Sanstan, Sri Sadasi Parishad, Puri Central University Sanskrit. And co speaker, respected madam, Dr. Pradhyan Prakashin Das Kanungo, lecturer in philosophy, Gop College, Gop. And my dear students, all the participants, my colleague on the uh, behalf of the Vikram Dev Autonomous College, I welcome all of you for this today. So, uh, webinar series uh, today is our fourth day and fourth session and we are very fortunate that uh, we have uh, speakers dr atul kumar nanda and madam dr pragya prakashin das kanungo so now i invite our coordinator sri francis bala to give a short introduction about our guest uh, Namaskar to all. Uh, first of all, I welcome all the participants, all the guests uh, to this four day lecture series. In fact, today is the last day. We have successfully conducted the lecture series and uh, it's my pleasure or privilege to introduce our today's speaker. Actually, we have uh, two speakers. Uh, the first speaker is Dr. Atul Kumar Nanda. Uh, it's my honor to introduce Dr. Atul Kumar Nanda, uh, who is a professor of Sanskrit, Rashtriya Sanskrit Sanskhan, Sri Sadasip Parishad, Central University Puri. He completed his MA in 1981 from Rashtriya uh, Sanskrit Sanskritan, Sanskrit Sanskritan, uh, Sanskrit uh, Sanskritan, and he was awarded PhD in 1984 from uh, Smruti Sara under the supervision of Professor Kishore Chandra Mahapatra. And he joined as a lecturer in 1987 uh, in Rashtriya Sanskrit Sansthan. And he also awarded DLIT uh, on the subject Tirtha Dwara Papakhya Vichara from Kameshwar Singh, Darbhanga University, Bihar. Uh, he joined as a professor in Rashtriya Sanskrit Sansthan uh, Sri Sadasri Parishad Puri in 2006. And uh, during his uh, principal seat in 2011 to 2013 and uh, 2016 to 2018, he made a grand arrangement for the centenary celebration of uh, Rashtriya Sanskrit Sansthan, where uh, Honorable President of India was the chief guest. Professor Nanda is presently a member of many uh, organi organizations like Mukti Pandit Sabha and Sankracharya Dharma Paristhan Puri. Under his guidance, more than uh, 70 scholars have been awarded PhD degree. Uh, he is author of more than 10 books and about 100 papers. He is uh, a celebrated speaker on Indian culture, uh, particularly in uh, Sri Jagannath cult and culture in Sanskrit literature. Uh, Professor Nanda 
uh, today uh, speak on culture and tradition of india in the eyes of asen das gupta so on behalf of pg department of philosophy from the autonomous college jaipur i once again welcome you to this lecture series sir welcome you uh, welcome and thank you today, uh, today uh, we also have uh, dr pragya prakash nidas kanungo is a speaker and dr das kalungo is uh, works as lecturer and head of the department of philosophy at gop college uh, puri uh, she had her graduation from ramadevi women's college and she uh, completed her post graduation from utkal university uh, she had been uh, awarded MPhil and PhD from Utkal University, Bhubaneswar. As well as she had uh, had been teaching in DAB institutions and Kalinga Institution of Social Sciences prior to this job. Uh, she published two books named as Perspective in Applied Ethics and The Primacy of the Ethical in Kautilya's Arthasastra. A few papers in regional and uh, 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 national journal he uh, see has been published and uh, her academic interest area is applied ethics uh, today uh, she will speak on the topic dharma in indian philosophical thought so once again i welcome uh, dr das kanungo and uh, so may i now request professor tapan uh, tapan de to uh, preside the session sir uh, professor tapan de yes sir. please uh, share the session thank you uh, a very good afternoon to all, to all of you uh, it's my pleasure to be present here with you to hear the two speakers one dr atul kumar nando professor of sanskrit rashtriya sanskriti sansthan sri sarasiv parishad central sanskrit university puri and the other speaker is dr stimati pragya prakashani das kanungo lecturer gop college uh, the first speaker that is dr atul kumar nand the professor nand will speak on culture and traditions of india in the eyes of sn das gupta and dr pragya prakashani das kanungo will speak on dharma in indian philosophical thought uh offering my heartiest respects to my mentor teacher professor ganesh prasad das and also my respect to both the speakers professor nando and dr das kanungo without taking much time i want to invite dr atul kumar nando professor of sanskrit to speak on the theme culture and traditions of india in the eyes of sn dasgupta i think uh, professor dasgupta's lecture will help us to have more knowledge on this field and it will be enjoyable for the participants also uh professor nando please uh, professor nando please unmute yourself professor nando please unmute yourself unmute unmute yes 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 yes, yes. thank you thank you very much welcome yunta pravishya mam vacha mimam prasuptam संजीवयत्यखिल शक्ति मता स्वधाम 
अन्यांश हस्त चरण श्रवण त्वगादीन प्राणान नमो भगवते पुरुषाय तुभ्यम रेस्पेक्टेड चेयरपर्सन रेस्पेक्टेड माई टीचर प्रोफेसर गणेश प्रसाद दास वेरी गुड आफ्टरनून टू ऑल ऑफ पार्टिसिपेंट स्टूडेंट्स एंड ऑल द मेंबर्स ऑफ द सेमिनार्स टुडे आई एम वेरी मच थिंकफुल टू प्रोफेसर गणेश प्रसाद दास टुडे मॉर्निंग ही वॉज सडनली told me you take my request and tell something today seminar really i am engaged otherwise but i cannot deny him i accepted today i will say something indian culture indian philosophy in my language means in sanskrit definitely it will be very simple for all of our people अस्मिन अमृत महोत्सव काले विक्रम देव महाविद्यालय कार्यक्रम करोति तस्मात् कारणात् ते सर्वे भवन्ति पश्यंतु भवंत भारत प्रतिष्ठे द्वे संस्कृत संस्कृति तथा अतः तस्मात् कारणात् संस्कृत संस्कृत संरक्षण सर्वाद कर्तव्य अहम संस्कृत वदा परंतु भवता बोधन तो मतृभाषया इव जत्र कदाचि काठिन्यम भवे कदाचि शब्द प्रयोगे अहम तो सारे कथयिष्या मम विश्वासो वर्तते अतः मया अत्र किंचित प्रारभ्यते अतः इं संस्कृत भाषा जया भाषया वेदादारभ्य अद्य जावत बहुनी शास्त्राणी विरचिता सी अस्माक प्राचीन दर्शन शास्त्र धर्मशास्त्र बहुनी काव्या सर्वाणी संस्कृत भाषया एव विरचिता सी यदि वह पश्याम इं भाषा सर्वासा भारतीय भाषाण जननी भवती अथवा इं भाषा देवभाषा वर्तते जदा अस्मा भी समाजे उत्सवादिषु मांगलिक कार्यक्रमेशु अस्या भाषाया प्रयोग क्रीयते यथा विवाहो भवति श्रद्धम भवति तदा तदा अनया भाषया मंत्रोच्चारणपूर्वक सर्व कर्म अस्मा भी क्रीयते अतः इं भाषा अस्माक आत्मनी तिष्ठति हृदय तिष्ठति यहा दे महाभागे उत्कल भाषा अवगछा 
परंतु वक्त न शक्नोमी तद्वदेव इं संस्कृत भाषा प्रायशः सर्वे अवबोधनाय सम्यक भवति परंतु किंचित काठिन्यम भवति कथने यदि मदृशा अभ्यास कुरु तत्र काठिन्यम न भवे जदि आम अभ्यास ताहले सरल जानी हम कदाचित केचन वदंती इं संस्कृत भाषा मृत भाषा सत्यमे मृता जना उद्देश्य इं भाषा अस्माभिव्यवहते अर्थात अस्माक परिवार मध्य चदा कस्यचन जनस्य मरण भवति तस्य जनस्य सर्व श्राद्धादिक कार्य अस्मस्कृत भाषया क्रियते अतः इं भाषा अस्माक सामाजिक जीवन पारिवारिक जीवन आध्यात्मिक जीवन अभी अंतर्भुक्ता वर्तते अधुना पश्यंत पुषार्था चतुष्टया चतुष्टयात्मका धर्म अर्थ काम मुख्य रूपा चार पुषार्था सर्वत्र धर्मस्य अनुगमनम अस्माभि अवलोक्यते धर्म बिना कुत्रापि सिद्धिर न भवति जदेव अर्थोपाजन क्रियते तत्र यदि धर्म न तिष्ठति तदुपाजन निषिद्ध पापक जायते जदुछया वी कामाशक्त भवाम तदपि पापाय भवति तत्र पुण्यम नास्ति परंतु धर्म मध्यम यदि काम सेवन सैद तत्र पुण्यादि प्राप्ति भवति मुख्य विषय अनतर कथयामी अस्माक लक्ष्यम भवति स्वर्ग प्राप्ति ही। सर्वाद दर्शनकार भगवान जैमिनी मीमांसा सूत्रे वदति अथा तो धर्म जिज्ञासा पूर्व मीमांसा प्रथम सूत्रे एक आयाति अथा तो धर्म जिज्ञासा चोदना लक्षण अर्थो धर्म अतएव मीमांसाकार महान दार्शनिक जैमिनी आगत्य वदति धर्म प्रति प्रेरणा कर्तव्या सा च प्रेरणा कीदृशी ना वेद प्रतिपादिता विहित अनुष्ठा निंदित सेवना अनिग्रह चंद्रियाण नर पतन मृछति लोक पापी ही जानती कहीं की ना जहा वेद प्रतिपादित कर्म हो न था जो तक आम आचरण करू निंदित कर्म को जदि आचरण करू निषिद्ध द्रव्य को जदि सेवन करू एवं विशेषकर जदि इंद्रिय मान को संयम न करू ताहले आमे पापी ही था तेणु ये पापर मुक्त पाई आम को कौन करिया पड़ो ना तदेव दर्शन मीमांसा दर्शन वदति जागादि धर्म हम जागादि यागादि नाम अग्निहोत्रादिक जागम प्रति चोदयति प्रेरयति अस्मान आम मान को प्रेरणा प्रदान करोत्रादि जाग करतु कथम की ना अग्निहोत्रम जो ही सर्ग काम अस्माक परम लक्ष्य भवति स्वर्ग प्राप्ति सा च स्वर्ग प्राप्ति ही कथम संजायते ना केवल धर्मेण आध्यात्मिक मार्गेण अन्यथा न संभवती तरी पुषार्थ लाभाय प्रथम पुषार्थो भवती धर्म 
स च धर्म वेदादि शास्त्रेभ्य विज्ञाते न केवल वेदादि द्वारा प्राप्तिर्भवति कालांतरे आगत धर्मशास्त्र तच शास्त्र मनवादि प्रणीत मनु गौतम जाज्ञवलक व्यास प्रभृति ऋषय शास्त्रा विरचय त्र केवल जुगाज प्रति ते उपदेश उपदेश कुरती सर्वे जना न्यायन मगेण चलनपूर्वक स्वर्गादीप अमृत फल प्राप्त कालांतरे अस्मुच्यते काव्यशास्त्रादिषु रामादिवत प्रवर्तित न रावणादिवत समाजे रामचरित्र रामचरित्र आधारीकृत स्वक जीवन जापयेत अन्यथा रावणवत यदि भवति तरी कष्ट अप्रयच्छन कौटल्य वजति परदारा अप्रयच्छन रावण विनष्टो जाता अतः किमपि किमपि एकम शास्त्र गृहंत तत्र सर्वत्र एतादृश उपदेशा प्राप्य प्रकार उपदेश सब शास्त्र मानक लिखा जा शास्त्र अर्थ है आम को शासन करी भल मार्ग प्रदर्शन करवा तेणु से परंपर जी आम देखा तेल दर्शन शास्त्र से बात पड़ी ना मीमांसा मीमांसा रे आम दि प्रकार भाग देखुचे गोटे पूर्व मीमांसा गोटे उत्तर मीमांसा पूर्व मीमांसा हूँ ज्ञान कांड एवं उत्तर मीमांसा हूँ कर्म कांड कर्म भाग तत्र उत्तर मीमांसायां यज्ञ जागादि विषय विस्तारतया वर्णन दृश्यते अत्र पूर्व मीमांसायां ज्ञान कांड से विस्तार रूपेण वर्णन प्राप्य है तदनंतर काल आयाति ब्रह्मसूत्र जत्र वेदात शास्त्र से अयमारंभो जाता वेदे तो वर्तते परंतु पृथकतया वेदात सर्जन अस्म ब्रह्मसूत्रे प्राप्य है अथा तो ब्रह्म जिज्ञासा अथा तो ब्रह्म जिज्ञासा आरभ्य भगवान व्यासदेव ब्रह्मसूत्रा विरचयति तस्य सूत्र से यदा व्याख्यान आदिशंकराचार्येण भगवत शंकराचार्य पाद शिव रूपा ते जदा व्याख्यान कुरती तदा बुद्धिमता सर्वेशा दार्शनिका चित्त प्रसाद समस्ते जान लें वेदात ये पदार्थ अच्छी एभली गोटे ज्ञान राशि अच्छी गोटे ज्ञान भंडार अच्छी तत्रापि द्वैत अद्वैत द्वैताद्वैत विशिष्टाद्वैत इत्यादि भेदेन तच शास्त्र कालांतरे वैभिन्न संजात विभिन्न प्रकार हैला किंतु अस्माभि अद्वैतवाद से स्वीकार भगवान शंकर स्वकीयां सर्वा प्रतिभा तत्र निक्षिप्य तस्य शास्त्रस्य परिवर्धन परिपुष्टता विदधाति कालांतरे भवद्भि अवलोकित सैत्वीपिकायां ग्रंथे चित्सुखी आचार्येण जथा अद्वैतवाद से अद्वैत सिद्धे वर्णन प्रतिपादित तत्व अपूर्व अपूर्व प्रतिभाम विद्यते 
तस्य शास्त्रस्य अवगाहने अवबोधने पठने च आज्ञा बुझियो नी काठिन्यम भवति तथापि अध्ययन तो अपेक्षित भवति ततः परमायाति न्याय वैशिक दर्शन तच्च दर्शन आगत मीमसा शास्त्र वेदात शास्त्र निराशयति तन मतासार कर्म द्वारा एव ब्रह्म प्राप्ति भवेत तस्मा त्रापी न्यायसूत्र आगत न्याय सिद्धांत मुक्ता बलि आगता तदनंतर काले पक्षता भवतु अथवा खंड न खंड खाद्य प्रभृति विशिष्टा ग्रंथा अतीव उपादेया ग्रंथा सामगता लौह चणक बथ जथा लौह चणक लुहा चणा को चोबेले जमी कष्ट अनुभव हुए दात को से भली भाव से ग्रंथ गुड़ाक ये कठिन तथापि वयम पठाम तदनंतर काले आगतम सांख्य दर्शन सांख्य दर्शन आगत प्रकृति पुरुष विचार प्रतिपादन पूर्वक योग आयुर्वेद दर्शयति पाठयति अवबोधयति जेन संसारस्था सर्वे जना दीर्घ जीवन अभी चुखेन कालातिपात कुरु एक भारतीय दर्शन आस्तिक दर्शन अस्मा विचार्य तदनंतर काले अस्मा अवलोकित समाज बौद्ध जैन मता तन्मतमी अस्मा अवलोकित जदि स्थूलतया पश्याम तत्रापी अयमे भाव मिंसा सर्वाभूता आचांडल ब्राह्मण जावत अयम साधारण धर्म कहा को हिंसा करवा ना ये जो मूल मंत्र ये मूल मंत्र आम बेदर से मैंने प्रचार कले तेणु आम ठू से भिन्न नुहति आम मत नहीं कि तदपरवर्ती काले तंत्र शास्त्र समुत्पत्ति जाता तत्र गुण भाव से परिप्रकाशत्वात् केत मनुष्य तंत्र मंत्र को जानती ना जेते बड़े निज भरे कि अप्राप्तिर आशा उद्रेक हुए एवं से आशा को परिपूरण करने परिपूरण करने तंत्रादि से सहयोग नियंती जदि से भली तंत्र ग्रंथ आम सब देखुचे तथापि तार बहु प्रचार लुप्त प्राय जिमी दर्शन शास्त्र बहु प्रचार समस्त विश्वविद्यालय हो अन्य स्थान मानक आम देखुचे तंत्र से भली बहु प्रचार प्रसार ना जो मैंने करें प्राय दिवंगत हापर से तंत्र शास्त्र गुड़िक धीरे धीरे कीटद्रष्ट हो लुप्त प्राय हवा को बस ला किसी अच्छी जो गुड़ाक कर देखा वेद उपनिषद धर्मशास्त्र पुराण रामायण महाभारत काव्य नाटक आदि ये जो जेते आम शिक्षा परंपरार प्राचीन मौलिक ग्रंथ या को अध्ययन एवं अध्यापन कर उद्देश्य हूँ केवल पुरुषार्थ लाभ से पुरुषार्थ कहले मुनिटा पुरुषार्थ तो कही मोक्ष तेणु मोक्षटा 
इमिति एक विषय निश्चित कठिनतम सुकर्म आचरण आदि द्वारा धर्म से उपार्जनम भवती धर्मेण मार्गेण काम से उपार्जनम जायते धर्मेण उपायन अध्यापनादि द्वारा चतुर्ना वर्णा कृते पृथक पृथक उपार्जन व्यवस्था विद्यते चिंतन्त आद ब्राह्मण तस्य कृते षड कर्मा निरूपिता सी ब्राह्मण अध्ययन कुर्या अध्यापन कुर्या अध्यापन नाम पाठ पढ़ाई जजन कुर्या जाजन कुर्या दान कुर्या प्रतिग्रह गृहत ये छटा कर्म ब्राह्मण निजे एवं जजन कर घरे यज्ञादि अनुष्ठान कर गृह जगादि अनुष्ठान कर प्रतिदिन किसी दान कर प्रतिदिन किसी दान ग्रहण कर छटा कर्म भितर तीन टा कर्म से तार पुण्यपाई कर एवं तीन टा कर्म वृत्ति जीविका निर्वाह पर दानम जजनम स्वकीय पुण्य निमित्त आध्यात्मिक पारलौकिक पुण्य निमित्त एतानि त्रिणी कर्मा स आचरे तरी कया वृत्तिया स जीवे को उपाय से जीविका निर्वाह कर ना जाजनम जाजनम कृत्वा जजमान से गृह प्रति गवा तस्य गृहे जागादि अनुष्ठान अनुष्ठान कारयित्वा दक्षिणादि प्राप्ति द्वारा स जीवे यदि कश्चिदी जजमान जागादि अनुष्ठान न करोति तरी कया वृत्तिया स जीवे जिज्ञासायां पुनः कथयति अध्यापनम कुर्या पाठ पढ़ाई बस कि पाठ पढ़ले दरमा नबनी छात्र मान को पठाई दब जाओ भिक्षा नहीं कि आसव भिक्षा आने तुम मोर दि जन ताले वृत्ति चिंता रहा ना अध्यापन द्वारा सकियां जीविका धारय एतदी न संभवती अस्मिन् करुणा काले न कश्चिदी छात्र आयाति पठित तरी अयम गुरु कथम जीवे जिज्ञासा कथयत तत्र दान ग्रहण कुर्या प्रतिग्रह ग्रहण प्रतिग्रह पद दान ग्रहण दान गृहत जीवे भिक्षाटनादिक कुर्या तया वृत्तिया इं तो वृत्ति धार्मिका वृत्ति भवती अत्र पापत्व न संजाते अतः ब्राह्मण अनेन प्रकारेण जीवे तदनंदर काल आयाति क्षत्रिय सोपी अध्ययन कुर्जिया सोपी वेदादि अध्ययन कुर्जिया सध्यापन न कुर्जिया पूर्वपद यज्ञादि अनुष्ठान जजनम कुर्जिया दान दद्या न गृहिया दान ग्रहण केवल ब्राह्मण से अधिकार तरी कया वृत्तिया क्षत्रिय जीवे एक जिज्ञासायां उच्यते शस्त्र ग्रहण द्वारा अर्थात अभिषेकादि गुणयुक्त से क्षत्रिय विशेष प्रजा परिपालन परमो धर्म प्रजा रक्षण भवती क्षत्रिय से परमो धर्म प्रजा रक्षण कुर्या तया वृत्तिया जदेव उपाजयति तदेव प्रकार सजीवन धारय तदनंदर काल आयाति वैश्य सोपी वैश्य किं करोति अध्ययन कुर्या जजन कुर्या दान दद्या तरी कया वृत्तिया जीवे यदि जिज्ञासायां उच्य से गो कृषिरक्षा वाणिज्यादि उपाय गोरक्षा गोपदेन पशुपालन पशु संपद कृषि णिज्य द्वारा स्वकिया जीविका धारय तत आयाति शूद्र 
शूद्र शुश्रूषा कृत्वा जीविका धारयत अतएव इं जा वृत्ति मैं प्रतिपादिता सा सर्वा वृत्ति जीविका धारण उपाय धर्मीय एव यह धर्म अटे एचलित हेले अधर्म बा पाप हम अतः से भली काम धर्म अर्थ धर्मेण उपाय अर्थ उपार्जन धर्मेण उपाय कामादि रुत्से कह धर्म अर्थ काम प्राप्ति अनंतरम आयाति मोक्ष मुख्य विषय अहम कथयामी शास्त्रेशु वर्णित वर्तते ऋणत्रय अपाकृत मनो मुख्य निवेशय अनपाकृत ऋण से भजमान पतध मुण मान जानापी एक कथा गुड़ा कह गप भाया भी आज शुण की मन रखिए प्रत्येक मनुष्य प्रत्येक मनुष्य जायम त्रिभि ऋण जायते से जन्म हवा मात्रे तीन टा ऋण सांगे नहीं जन्म ही था कि तत्ण त्रय ऋषि ऋण देव ऋण पितृ ऋण चेती अध्ययन द्वारा ऋषि ऋण रु मुक्त हुए पितृ अर्चन द्वारा पितृ ऋण रु मुक्त हुए एवं देव देवता अर्चन इत्यादि करने द्वारा से देव ऋण रु मुक्त ही था ए प्रत्येक मनुष्य चारिटा आश्रम परिकल्पना करनुष्यर आयु सामान्यत शहे वर्ष बोली कहुई वेद कहते शतायु वै पुरुष एक पुरुष से सामान्य आयु भवती शत वर्षात्मक अस्मिन् शत वर्षात्मक आयु से तत्र चतर आश्रम परिकल्पिता सी प्रथम भागे अर्थात पं, प्रथम पंचवशति वर्ष मध्य स अध्ययन कुर्जियात अर्थात ब्रह्मचर्याश्रम तिष्ठे द्वितीय भागे अर्थात पंचवशति वर्षेभ्य पंचाशद वर्षा जवत ट्वेंटी फिफ्थ टू फिफ्टी इयर्स स गृहस्थाश्रम तिष्ठे ततः पंचवशति वर्षा बान प्रस्थाश्रम ततः स संसाश्रम प्रति व्रजे अतः जदा पिता पुत्र उपनीय उपनयन संस्कार कारय्वा वेदम वेद वेदान वाठय स गुरुगृह स्थापयति बापा तंग पु को नहीं गुरु पाखे छाड़ की आसती हे भगवान मो पु को आप गोटे हो दीटा हो तीन टा जाक बेद हो पढ़ाई पंडित कराइबे से पढ़ाई आरंभ कले पढ़े 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 जो अनुभव कले ये पु सब भल पढ़ी से तार गोटे सामान्य परीक्षा करदे तार गोटे समावर्तन उत्सव करदे जो आजिकल यूनिवर्सीटी मानक कनभोकेशन हो आसब गृहस्थाश्रम को गृहस्थाश्रम को आसापी हेले से गोटे बह कर बह कौ कर ये गोटे बड़ चिंता भल झीटे दरकार ये आम भल पु भल पाठ पढ़ी प्रफेसर दास पीएचडी इत्यादि कर तेणु भल झीटे दरकार भल झी कह क्या बुझुं शास्त्रकार कहते अन्य पूर्विका कांता असपिंडा जबीयसी अन्य पूर्विका जो झीटी अन्य कौन सी पुरुष सहित संबंध जुक्ता नम पितृकूल मातृकूल से सपिंडा हो न कांता हो कांता शब्द अर्थ कराक्षराकार बढ़ो मनो नयन आल्लाद कारिणी बरर मन को आदय को जे आल्लाद कर झीओ को कांता कहु मनो नयन आल्लाद कारिणी 
ମନକୁ ଆଉ ନୟନକୁ ଯେ ଆହ୍ଲାଦ ଦଉଥିବ ଅନନ୍ୟ ପୂର୍ବିକା ଆକାନ୍ତା ଅସପିଣ୍ଡା ଅସପିଣ୍ଡା କହିବା ଦ୍ୱାରା ପିତୃତ ସପ୍ତ ପୁରୁଷାଭ୍ୟନ୍ତରେ ମାତୃତ ପଞ୍ଚ ପୁରୁଷାଭ୍ୟନ୍ତରେ ମା କୂଳରେ ପାଞ୍ଚ ପୁରୁଷ ପର୍ଯ୍ୟନ୍ତ ଏବଂ ବାପାଙ୍କ କୂଳରେ ସାତ ପୁରୁଷ ପର୍ଯ୍ୟନ୍ତ ଇଏ ଯେମିତି ସମ୍ବନ୍ଧିତା ହେଇନଥିବ ଏଭଳି ଏ ଝିଅ ପୁଣି ଆଉ ଗୋଟେ ଜିନିଷ କହୁଛନ୍ତି ଜବି ଅସି ଜବି ଅସି ଶବ୍ଦର ଅର୍ଥ କରିବା ପାଇଁ ଯାଇକି ମିତାକ୍ଷରା କାର କହୁଛନ୍ତି ଜବି ଅସି ନାମ କନି ଅସି କନିଷ୍ଠା ବୟସରେ ଇଏ କନିଷ୍ଠା ହେଇଥିବ ବରଠୁ ଅଧିକ ବୟସ୍କା ହେଇନଥିବ ଆଉ ଗୋଟେ ଅର୍ଥ କହୁଛନ୍ତି ଚମତ୍କାର ଅର୍ଥ କହୁଛନ୍ତି ଜବି ଅସି ପଦେନ ନ କେବଳମ ବୟସା ଅପିତୁ ପରିମାଣ ତହ ପରିମାଣ ତ ନାମ ଧରାଯାଉ ପୁଅଟି ଆମର ଯେତିକି ଡେଙ୍ଗା ବା ଯେତିକି ଉଚ୍ଚତା ସମ୍ପନ୍ନ ତାଠୁ ନ୍ୟୁନା ହେଇଥିବ ଝିଅଟି ଦେଲେ ଇଏ ବିବାହ ଯୋଗ୍ୟା କନ୍ୟା ତାହେଲେ ବରର ଯୋଗ୍ୟତା କଣ ଗୋଟିଏ ଶବ୍ଦ କହିକି ମନୁ ଭଗବାନ ରହିଯାଉଛନ୍ତି ଅବିପ୍ଲୁତ ବ୍ରହ୍ମଚାର୍ଯ୍ୟ ସବର୍ଣ୍ଣାମ ଲକ୍ଷନାମ ଉଦ୍ବହେତ ସ୍ତ୍ରୀୟାମ ତାହେଲେ ଅବିପ୍ଲୁତ ବ୍ରହ୍ମଚାର୍ଯ୍ୟ ଏକମାତ୍ର ଯୋଗ୍ୟତା ତାର ତାର ଗୋଟିଏ କ୍ୱାଲିଟି ହେଲା ବିବାହ କରିବା ପୂର୍ବରୁ ଯେମିତି ସେ ବ୍ରହ୍ମଚାର୍ଯ୍ୟ ଧାରଣ କରିଥିବ ଅବିପ୍ଲୁତ ବ୍ରହ୍ମଚାର୍ଯ୍ୟ ହେଇଥିବ ଆଉ କୌଣସି ଝିଅ ବା ସ୍ତ୍ରୀ ଇତ୍ୟାଦି ସହିତ ତା ସମ୍ବନ୍ଧ ନଥିବ ଇଏ ସବୁ କାହିଁକି ମୁଁ କହୁଛି ଭଗବାନ ମନୁ କହୁଛନ୍ତି ଏଭଳି ନିୟମ ଦ୍ୱାରା ପାଳନ କଲେ ଆପଣ ମୋକ୍ଷାଦି ଫଳ ପାଇବେ ନଚେତ ମୋକ୍ଷ ଇତ୍ୟାଦି ଦୂର ପର୍ଯ୍ୟନ୍ତ ପଳେଇବ ହବନି ତାହେଲେ ଋଣ ତ୍ରୟଂ ଅପା କୃତ୍ୟ ମନୁ ମୋକ୍ଷେ ନିବେଶ ମୋକ୍ଷେ ନାମ ଚତୁର୍ଥାଶ୍ରମେ ଚତୁର୍ଥାଶ୍ରମ ଇତ୍ୟସ୍ୟ ଅର୍ଥ ଭବତି ସନ୍ୟାସାଶ୍ରମ ମୁଖ୍ୟ ଏବ ଏକମାତ୍ର ଫଲମ ଜସ୍ମିନ ଆଶ୍ରମେ ଯେଉଁ ଆଶ୍ରମର ଲକ୍ଷ୍ୟ ହଉଛି ଏକମାତ୍ର ଲକ୍ଷ୍ୟ ସେ ହଉଛି ମୁଖ୍ୟ ମୁଖ୍ୟ ଏବ ଏକମାତ୍ର ଲକ୍ଷ୍ୟ ଜସ୍ମିନ ଆଶ୍ରମେ ମୁଖ୍ୟକ ଫଲମ ମୁଖ୍ୟ ଏବ ଏକମାତ୍ର ଫଲମ ଲକ୍ଷ୍ୟ ଜସ୍ମିନ ଆଶ୍ରମ ସେଟା ହେଲା ସନ୍ୟାସ ଆଶ୍ରମ ଏଭଳି ଭାବରେ ମୋକ୍ଷ ବିଷୟରେ କହିକି ମୋକ୍ଷ ପାଇବା ପାଇଁ ଉପାୟ ମାନେ ସେ କହିଛନ୍ତି ସେ ଉପାୟ ମାନଙ୍କ ଭିତରୁ କୁହାଗଲା ଯେ ଆପଣ ଆଉ କୋଉଠି ଆଶ୍ରମ କରି ରହିବେ ନାହିଁ ପରିବ୍ରାଜକ ହେବେ ପରିତ ବ୍ରଜନ୍ତି ଇତି ପରିବ୍ରାଜକ ପରିତ ସବୁଆଡେ ସେ ବୁଲିବ ଅସଂକଳ୍ପିତା ଗୃହାଣୀ ଭିକ୍ଷେ ରନ୍ ମନ ଭିତରେ ଭାବିକି ଯିବ ନାହିଁ ଯେ ମୁଁ ଲକ୍ଷ୍ମଣ ସାରଙ୍କ ଘରକୁ ଗଲେ ମତେ ସେ ଭଲ ଭିକ୍ଷା ଦେବେ ଗଣେଶ ସାରଙ୍କ ଘରକୁ ଗଲେ ମତେ ଭଲ ଭିକ୍ଷା ଦେବେ ଏଭଳି ଭାବିକି ଯିବନି ଅସଂକଳ୍ପିତ ଭାବରେ ସେ ଯିବ ଅସଂକଳ୍ପିତ ମାନେ ଚିନ୍ତା ନ କରିକି ଯାଉ ଯାଉ ସାତଟା ଘର ମାଗିଦେଲା ଯଦି ଗୋଟିଏ ଘରେ ମାଗୁ ବି ତାକୁ ପର୍ଯ୍ୟାପ୍ତ ହେଇଗଲା ଯେତିକି ଖାଇବା ଦରକାର ସେତିକି ଯଦି ମିଳିଗଲା ତାହେଲେ ଅନ୍ୟତ୍ର ଗୃହଂ ପ୍ରତି ନ ଗଛେ ଗମନ କାଳରେ ସେ କଣ କରିବ ନା ବେଦ ମନ୍ତ୍ରାନ ଜପେତ ମନ ଆଉ କୋଉଠି ନାହିଁ କେବଳ ବେଦ ମନ୍ତ୍ର ଗୁଡିକୁ ସେ ଅଭ୍ୟାସ କରୁଥିବ କାରଣ କୁଆଡେ ମୁଁ ଭୁଲିଯିବି ଇଏ ହଉଛି ତାର ଲକ୍ଷ୍ୟ ଆଉ ହାତରେ କଣ ଦେଖିବ ନା ତ୍ରିମ ଦଣ୍ଡାନ ତ୍ରିଦଣ୍ଡୀ ସକମଣ୍ଡଳୁ ହୁ ସକମଣ୍ଡଳୁ କହିବାର ଅର୍ଥ ହେଲା ସ ନାମ କମଣ୍ଡଳୁ ନା ସହ ବର୍ତ୍ତମାନ ତତ ସ ପଦେ ନ ଜଲ ମୁଚେତେ କମଣ୍ଡଳୁ ଭିତରେ ଟିକେ ଜଳ ଧାରଣ କରିଥିବ ଶୁଷ୍କ କମଣ୍ଡଳୁ ଧରିବ ନାହିଁ ଅନେକ ଅର୍ଥ କରନ୍ତି ମୟା ସହ କମଣ୍ଡଳୁ ବିଦ୍ୟତେ ଇତି ସକମଣ୍ଡଳୁ ତଥା ନାସ୍ତି ମିତାକ୍ଷର ଆକାର ବଦତି ବିଜ୍ଞାନେଶ୍ୱର ପରିବ୍ରାଜକ ଆଚାର୍ଯ୍ୟ ସ ବଦତି ସକମଣ୍ଡଳୁ ପଦେନ ଜଲେନ ସହ କମଣ୍ଡଳୁ କମଣ୍ଡଲୁ ଧୃତ୍ୱା ବ୍ରଜେତ ଗଚ୍ଛେତ ତତ୍ର ଦଣ୍ଡ ତ୍ରୟଂ ମୂର୍ଦ୍ଧା ପର୍ଯ୍ୟନ୍ତ ପରିମିତ ଦଣ୍ଡ ତ୍ରୟଂ ତଦପି ଆବେଷ୍ଟିତ ଆବେଷ୍ଟିତ ପଦେନ ତତ୍ର କିମ ବସ୍ତ୍ରାଦି ପ୍ରାବୃତ କୃତ୍ୱ ବସ୍ତ୍ରାଦି ଆବରଣ ପୂର୍ବକ ତ୍ରିନ ଦଣ୍ଡାନ ଧାରୟତ ତେନ କିମ ଭବତି ନା କାମସ୍ୟ 
ततः क्रोधस्य लोभस्य एवं भूतानां त्रयाणां रिपूणां अवदहनम भवति तम दंडम जदा स पश्यति तदा स्वकीय मनसी इं भावना समायाति नहीं क्रोध नैव कर्तव्य अनुराग कुत्रा नैव कर्तव्य रागपद न अनुराग स्नेह प्रेम लोभो भी त्यज्य काम क्रोध लोभ मद मान हर्ष त्यागात परवर्त निकाले संयोजित मद इत्यादि त्याग मद नाम गर्भ अहंकार मोहस्य मदस्य त्याग कर्तव्य तम दंडम जदा स अवलोकयति अतएव दंडस्य इदम कर्म भवति न तो त्र ताड़नादि निमित्तम बावलोकम सदा जदा अस्माक शंकराचार्य गति स दंड सह ग अतः सन्यासी एव अनेन प्रकारेण जीवन धारे वेद मंत्र जप्वा पुनः कथयति विभिन्ना व्रता तच व्रत यम निमादिपम यम से नियम से सधारण कुर्जा पुनः व्रत वर्तते चंद्रायण पराकम कृच्रम अति कृच्रम पर्णकुच्रम इत्यादि कष्टमय व्रत धुत स्वजीवन शोषयत तेन तुक्तिर्भवति अत्र किंचित चिंतनीय अस्ति ब्राह्मण प्रब्रजेत गृहा अतएव मोक्ष प्राप्त एवं भूत निवर्ति वेद विद व्रताचारी ब्राह्मण एव मुक्ति प्राप्या प्राप्नोति पालन करी जो ब्राह्मण निजर जीविका अर्जन कर ब्राह्मण ही मुक्ति पाइब मुख्यर अधिकारी हे एभली कही सारे वैदिक सिद्धांत बा धर्मशास्त्र सिद्धांत बा दार्शनिक सिद्धांत कही सारे अनेक वचन आमको पुराण मान मिले जथा गोटे उदाहरण दूचे आमे पूजा करिया करने बसुचे हाथ में पा धरुचे फूल धरुचे बा कुश धरुचे गोटे मंत्र बोलुचे अपवित्र पवित्रवा सर्वा अवस्थांग तो पीवा जस्मरे पुंडरी काक्ष सबाइा भ्यंतर सूची अर्थात जे पुंडरी काक्ष को स्मरण करदेव से बाह्य आभ्यंतर उभय प्रकार अशुद्धत मुक्त हम कमा आगे चलतु एवं निकट में पूरी में रथ यात्रा जा रथे तो बामनम दृष्ट पुनर्जन्म न जायते भली वचन भी देखा जा रथरे भगवान महाप्रभु श्री जगन्नाथ को दर्शन करदे आनर्जन्म हम ना यार अर्थ आम जी करवा पुनर्जन्म हम ना सत्य किंतु क्षीणे पुण्य मर्त्य लोकंग विशति स्वर्गे ठति स्वर्ग प्रति गति स्वर्ग गापी यदि स निष्क्रिय भवती अन्यत पुण्यात्मक कर्म जपादी कर्म अध्ययनादि रूपम कर्म न करोति तदा तस्य पुण्य क्षया पुनः संजायते अत्र अतः तस्य मुक्तिर्न दृष्टा तार मुक्ति आम देखिलु ना 
श्रीमद भगवत चरणारविंद प्राप्ति जा मुक्ति अस्मा भी चिंत्यते शास्त्रेशु उपदिश्यते सा मुक्ति तो अनया रीत्या अनेन विधिना अनेन प्रकार प्राप्यते अतः पुरुषार्थ प्राप्ति अस्माक जीवन से परम लक्ष्यम भवती आगछंत सुरेन्द्रनाथ दास गुप्त महोदयान प्रति ते तो महानता तपस्विन आचार्या प्राच्य पाश्चात्यादि सर्वत्र विद्यायाम प्रवीण विद्वांसा मैया श्रुत बाल्यदशायां तदशी काचि विशिष्टा प्रतिभा तान कुचित उच्च स्थान संस्थाप्य ज्ञानी जना प्रश्न कुरती स्म तुम कौन से गोटे टेबुल इत्यादि बसईदे प्रश्न पचारे एवं समस्त प्रश्न से यथाथ शास्त्रीय उत्तर मान दौले से अति बेस आठ दस वर्ष बयस एभली जो प्रतिभा कह प्रभवीय पूर्वाश्रम पूर्व जन्म रे प्रतिभा प्रचंड प्रतिभा से प्रतिभा क्रमश बढ़ी बढ़ी चलला कमिला ना अनेक घात प्रतिघात जीवन रे आसी से कदापि परांग मुख होना पराहत होना परास्त लाभ करना से भारत बर्ष विद्या अध्ययन समाप्त करी विदेश को जाब्रिज इत्यादि विद्या अध्ययन करी से डक्टरेट कर गवेषणा कर्म कर सतुष्टि लाभ करना ये हेला ना आहरी कि रहीगला पढ़ी असहिष्णुत सब जुगर अच्छा आज भी प्रफेसर दे को देख लगुच कम बयस लोक एत बड़ पदर अच्छा प्रफेसर पात्र को देख लगुच कम बयस पिला एत अच्छा ईर्षा तो होठी ये अनामधन्य पढ़ी मुद्ध हो गले तेणु यह ईर्षा आमर भारत प्रति हो समाजकंध समबयस्क जो दार्शनिक माने कौन सी कौन सी उपाय रे चरम पद पद भी प्राप्त किंतु भाग्यर भी कि विड़म्बना अच्छी कष्ट मिली से एकाधार रे जड़े साहित्यिक तांत्रिक दार्शनिक एत सब कर सर भी मानसिक शांति मिलनी मु भाबी पारिवारिक शांति भी मिलनी तेणु कष्टमय जीवन तेनाली स्तर को जाती से तो कष्ट पाती आज आम जो आलोचना करुचे विषय उल आर भेरी फर्चुनेट जिते बेश आज अमृत महोत्सव स्वाधीनतार अमृत महोत्सव पालन कर से समय बहीटी आज पचस्तरी वर्ष वयस्क प्रकाशन होता उतचा आउ आज दि हजार बैश बेल को से भी पचस्तरी वर्ष अर्थात से भी चतुर्थाश्रम पहुंची प्रथम आश्रम पंचविंशति द्वितीय आश्रम पचास रु पचस्तरी द्वितीय है पचीस ये पचीस रु पचास एवं पचास रु पचस्तरी तृतीय पचस्तर 
अधिक काल से हला सन्यास आश्रम जमी चतुर्थ काल ये बहर मध्य बर्तमान चतुर्थ काल आसी आता तो निश्चित कह आप मैंने दार्शनिक बेस जानी मो अपेक्षा ये बहर प्रचार प्रसार बहुत कमी गला ये बहर तथ्य तत्व को बाहर परिप्रकाश आम कर तत्समय बर्ती लोक मान ग्रंथ गुड़िक अधिक विस्तारित प्रचारित प्रसारित हो गला ये दुर्भाग्य कह कि ये बही अमीलक भी कष्टाध्य भी बुझा पढ़वा एवं या अधिक गवेषणा करवा आज आह्वान आसी आम समस्ते ये ग्रंथर इंडियन फिलोसफी रिमी बहु प्रचार हम प्रसार हम से प्रति आम समस्ते प्रयत्नवान हवा उचित जगरूक हवा उचित एवं क्रियाशील हवा उचित समय हो गला मत क्षमा करिए मत आउ गए जगार जोड़ी हबार अच्छी मुझे एक कथा कही थी प्रफेसर दास को एक कथा कही थी से कहे आपन को आम छाड़ीदेबू एवं लक्ष्मण बाबू को भी कही थी जो मुझे अध घंटे खंडे कौन बकर बकर आप सहित हो जी तापर मत आप विदा देदे तेणु अधिक कि कहबी आनेक अनेक धन्यवाद जनाऊँ लक्ष्मण बाबू को एवं प्रफेसर दे को आउ विशेष करी मोर गुरु प्रतिम प्रोफेसर गणेश प्रसाद दास को से यही गोटे महासंजोग मत संजोगीकरण कर तेणु मोर कृतज्ञता अधमर्णता एवं धन्यवाद ज्ञापन करुचि सर्वोपरी सुरेंद्र नाथ दास गुप्त अत्यंत प्रतिभावान प्रतिभा लुकायत न हो आपण मान पाखे प्रार्थना करवेदन कर विषय अधिक अध्ययन अध्यापन लेखन प्रकाशन इत्यादि कार्य मैंने जत्नवान हूं जय जगन्नाथ साधु 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 वंडरफुल वंडरफुल प्रोफेसर नंद आई है ऑडिबल अफुल नंद deliver this lecture to grace us this session and uh, really speaking i am overwhelmed hearing your speech starting through devo bhasha that is sanskrit but it is no problem i can uh, understand sanskrit also uh, but i can't speak sir pardon me but uh, starting devo bhasha uh, the role of devo bhasha that is sanskrit in our life and you have told that if we practice it uh, like the uh, uh, previous year that that means uh, early indian period we can also speak it easily write it easily understand it easily yes sir you are right we have to be in the practice You started your lecture, sir, with Purusharth Chatu Stoy. Yes. 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 This is the, the this is the great point of starting. Purusharth Chatu Stoy. When you are speaking on culture and traditions of India, you have to start your lecture with Purusharth Chatu Stoy. And again. the dharma is clearly and distinctly explained by you 
taking reference of Joimini Mimansa Sutra, Othato Brahmo Jigyasa. And the Lakshana of Dharma, Chodona Lakshana Dharma. Rightly, sir, you have explained it, explained it in a splendid way. Uh, what are the Bedo Pratipadito Karmo? Uh, what are the approval of Bedo, the Karmas which are approved by the Vedas should be done by us to avoid sorrow? That was also said, Papa Mukti, Papa Mukti. We want Papa Mukti, freedom from the Papa Sino. So we have to do a Bedo Onumodito Karmo. Uh, <clears throat> That was the Joggo. You have told also uh, about Joggo. Ogni Hotro Joggo, Sargo Prapti Kamonayo, Ogni Hotro Joggo. So, why Hormo is called Prathamo Purusharko? First, you have explained it clearly. And I think uh, our participants also uh, gathered their knowledge. Rama Sarupo Karmo Koribe, Sukho Paibe. Ravana Sarupa Karma Karibe, Dukha Paibe. Very nice, sure. sir. Very nice. Sure, Very sure. nice. Ba. Sir, sir, sir ji. <laughs> Thank you, sir. Again, you have explained the meaning of Sastra very meaningfully. Sasana Kore, Halo Margo Prodorsana Kori Vare Jopare, Ohi Sastra Kori Vare. Sastra leads us to the right path. That is the explanation. And again, you have told about the Brahma Jigyasa, Athato Brahma Jigyasa. Vedanta Darshana, the subject matter of Vedanta Jigyasa. And you have uh, uh, mentioned the different uh, schools of Vedanta, Doito, Addoito, Suddha Doito, Vishishta Doito, Doita Doito, and the, their views also you have touched. Kitsuki Acharya Adoito Siddhi Granta is also uh, pointed out by you. Then you have come to the point of Naya Boise Sika Darshanam, Naya Siddhanta Muktavoli. And here you have made a point, sir. Loho Chivanaro Matakosto. If you would try to chew iron, you feel pain. Just like if you try to read Naya Boise Sika Darshano, the technical language, you should feel pain. Very good, sir. Very nice. Very nice. Then, I, I tell example low yeah, 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 yeah. Low yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank you, sir. Uh, then you have come to Sankha Yoga Darsana, Bhutta Yoga Darsana. Especially you have told referred referred Mahing Sat Sarva Bhutani. That is the main mantra of Ahingsa, philosophy of Ahingsa. You have told it. And Tantra Sastra Sopajogita. What are the utilities of Tantra Sastra? Also, according to but you have clearly and rightly pointed out that Tantra Sastras are not uh, studied in the different departments as philosophy studied in universities and colleges. Bahula Prasarita Nohi, Tantra Sastra. That is the point you have pointed out. And I think you have rightly pointed out. And you have also pointed out that the Tantra Sastras at present uh, has fallen out from its right path. In the hands of the other persons uh, who are not sastrago, I think uh, you, you. Then you have come to Ved Upanishad, Purana, Ramayana, Mahabharata, uh, Shukarma, Acharana, Kara. Uh, these are also mentioned. Uh, then the point you have touched, Chatur Varna, Brahmana, Khatiya, Vaishya, Sudra, Brahmana. Soya Karmo Koribare, or Kotyoka Karmo Kotyo Karmo, Boisha Karmo Sudra Karmo. You have clearly explained the duties of each and every Bornos and also how collect their livelihood. You have also rightly pointed out. Uh, very good, sir. Then. Thank you. Thank you very much, sir. <laughs> uh, re, re, you no. Appreciated means uh, I got. Yeah, sir. All certificate. Three, three, three types of Reno, Renos are there. Reno Troyo. We have to pay feedback of Reno Troyo to get uh, Moksho. And in Bano Prostho, we come to the point of Moksho. But in the meantime, 
ब्रह्मचर्य गार्थ अन्य पूर्वी का कन्या सात एंड सात हाउट व्हाट टाइप ऑफ पात्री व्हाट टाइप ऑफ लेडीज वी हैव टू चूज फॉर आवर मैरिज यू हैव आल्सो टोल्ड इट देन पूरी ब्राजो को सर लास्टली यू हैव टास्ट द लाइफ ऑफ सुरेंद्रनाथ दास गुप्त though he was a great scholar but he had to face so many barriers from his fellow indians you have touched it and oh. luckily he reached his goal thank you sir thank you very much for your <laughs> detailed uh, uh, explanations and also attached all these cultures and Uh, traditions of indian philosophy with the life of professor s n das gupta who himself is the mirror of indian philosophy i think exactly so. exactly thank sure you. sure sir thank you sir thank any you, sir, more sir. question from my uh, audience yes sir this is now this uh, session is open for question please lakhon chat box sir continue dekho ha sir thank you sir pastiya pacharantu ni mota saral saral pacharantu mu jani ni kichi अति सरल क्वेश्चन क्वेश्चन प्रोफेसर दास धर्म जिज्ञासा ये क्वेश्चन टा आप लोगों को ना वो कौन हो कहाँ रहो सर सरी हेलो हेलो हाँ बोलो हाँ सुना चाहिए सुना चाहिए पर कौन सुना चाहिए बोलो यस प्रोफेसर नंद प्रोफेसर कथा तो धर्म जिज्ञासा इधम एकम सूत्रम यहाँ गुटिया सूत्र आटे ये सूत्र टी जोइमिनी दर्शनरा पूर्व मिमंसार प्रथम सूत्र एठी अथ शब्द अर्थ कौन अथ नाम अनंतरम आफ्टर ये आफ्टर मान क्या आफ्टर मान वेदाध्ययनातरम वेद से अध्ययन अनंतरम अथा तो अनंतरम कस्य अनंतरम कहा किसके बाद ना वेदाध्ययन से अनंतरम धर्म विषयक चिंतन केन प्रकारेण धर्म से उपार्जन केन प्रकारेण धर्म जायते ना जागादि देव धर्म जागादि उपाय द्वारा धर्म उपार्ज्यते अतएव अथा तो धर्म जिज्ञासा जैमिनी दर्शन से मीमसा दर्शन से प्रथम सूत्र प्रश्न भी अच्छी जो तीन ऋण तीन ऋण करूण गुड़ा ना ना ये तो स्वतः जन्म मात्रे जायमान वेद लिखुच वेद कौन जायमान मनुष्य त्रिभी ऋण जायते मनुष्य जन्म हवा मात्रे सहेव जन्म ना सह जन्म सहित से तीन टा ऋण नहीं कि आसी था गोटे पितृ ऋण गोटे ऋषि ऋण गोटे देव ऋण तेणु सी एटी आस ऋण कैरे वर्ल्ड बैंक रु आनी कि ऋण से नहीं आ जन्म समय रु जन्म ना जन्म मात्रे नव तस्तानी ऋण त्रीणी विद्यंते तेसाम ऋण त्रयाण परशोधन अवश्य कर्तव्य मन्य था तस्य पुरुषार्थ सिद्धिर न भवती पुरुषार्थ हम राय मन को मन को सुजी जाऊ आप कि मन को मन सुझे पढ़ा 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 द्वारा ऋषि ऋण सुझी जीव सका उठिक देवार्चन करे जगह अनुष्ठान करे द्वारा देवऋण सुझी जीव पितृ उद्देश्य 
महाजज्ञ पितृज्ञ करे ता द्वारा पितृ न सुझे ना ना बोला ना आपको की अनंत इसके बाद किसके बाद अपने क्वालिफिकेशन होने के बाद कैसे क्वालिफिकेशन होगा प्रिपरेशन के बाद थैंक यू और अगेन एनी अदर क्वेश्चन लखन आ कौन अच्छी हाँ लखन एनी अदर क्वेश्चन लखन सर ए वन क्वेश्चन फ्रॉम प्रोफेसर झाड़ेश्वर घोष हुज ब्राह्मीन इज इट बायोलॉजिकल और एनी अदर वे प्योरली बायोलॉजिकल प्योरली बायोलॉजिकल ब्राह्मीन प्योरली बायोलॉजिकल Yeah, discussion, discussion. Uh, Professor Nando, you have said Brahmana will reach at Moksha. Brahmana after Sunnaso, Brahmana will reach Moksha. Very good. What about the other? That is Khotriyo, Boisyo, Sudras. Will they able to get Moksha or not? Sir, sir, telling, 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 telling you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 गोटे जाए कहते नहीं पक्षपात ये पक्षपात करेणु अन्न मैंने स्वर्ग पर्यत जी स्वर्ग को जी एंड दे कम बैक क्षीणे पुण्य मर्त्य लोक भी बट ब्राह्मण विल नट कम बैक् से भगवत चरण आर बिंद रही तीन जन बैक कर स्टार्ट करिवे मुक्ति पाई तंगर प्रिपरेशन ओ ठीक ओके देन एक एक पुनर विचार करना दी ठीक है पुनर विचार करना दे अपन इनकी पक्ष बात विचार कर ले हमें बुद्ध को शरण पहुंच दी बुझे अपन जुआडे गले भी पड़ी मोह पक वासीबे उपाय नहीं आ डॉक्टर नंद अगेन इज इज इट इज इट द रिवार्ड ऑफ द स्टेज ऑफ सन्यासो और द कंटिन्यूएशन फ्रॉम द ब्रह्मचर्य आश्रम हां गुड क्वेश्चन गुड क्वेश्चन सर ये जब पढ़ता था ना गुरु के आश्रम में yeah. रह करके उस समय जब पढ़ के परीक्षा दे करके लौट आता है वो गृहस्थ बन जाता है hmm. कुछ शिष्य जो हैं लौटे आए नहीं नहीं गुरु जी मैं आपके पास ही रहूंगा उनका नाम होता है नैष्ठिक ब्रह्मचारी नैष्ठिक और जो लौट के आ जाता है उनका नाम होता है उपकुर्बाणक उपकुर्बाणक एंड नैष्टिक देर इज टू पार्ट टू टाइप ऑफ सन्यास टू टाइप ऑफ शिष्य स्टूडेंट वन इज उपकुर्बाणक एनदर वन इज नैष्टिक जो नैष्टिक होता है वो डायरेक्ट सन्यास में चला जाता है और जो उपकुर्बाणक होता है वह गृहस्थ में घुसता है इसके बाद मानप्रस्थी होता है उसके बाद संन्यास में जाता है गुड क्वेश्चन आंसर इज आल्सो वेरी गुड सर आंसर इज आल्सो वेरी गुड सुनिए सुनिए सर आप तो मेरा भाई चैंसल इंटरव्यू ले लिए नहीं मगर कोई बनाता नहीं अतुल सर अतुल सर आगे कौन सर जी नॉइस्टिक से कौन है कौन तो डिस्कंटिन्यू हो गया जी कटि गला जी नॉइस्टिक हला से गुरु को आश्रम में रही रही अच्छा से शेष जीवन बीतेब जदि गुरु मरी गले कौट रही ना गुरु पुत्रादि ठार अथवा पुत्रादि कहीं नहां अग्नि ठार से रही रही कि जीवन शेष कर सन्यास हम ए मुख्य इत्यादि पाइब आक कर गृहस्थ हो गृहस्थ पर बानप्रस्थी हम बानप्रस्थी पर सन्यासी हम ना गुरु गुरु हम ना गुरु आश्रम से गुरु हो पार अच्छा अच्छा 
गुरुवत गुरु पुत्रेशु तंगर जे पुत्र जे ते इत्यादि थिबे ताले गुरु पुत्र को से गुरु भली ज्ञान करिवो हम्म सर बढ़िया बढ़िया अमर सब दाबित रे सब देइछंदी डिसिप्लिन सब अति सुंदर डिसिप्लिन आपन आदु भटे करि परिबे नाही ना आ प्रोफेसर नंद वन मोर जस्ट वन मोर नो प्रॉब्लम नो प्रॉब्लम इन मानसा दर्शन इट इज सेड पुत्रस्ति कामनाय योग्य पुत्र कामना ए पर्सन विल परफॉर्म योग्य फॉर डिजायर ऑफ सन व्हाट इज द रोल ऑफ सन इन कनेक्शन विद मोक्ष यस सर यस सर सन रो यदि हमें कहिबा संस्कृत करिबा तार हला पुत्र पुंगनाम नरकात प्रायते इति पुत्र या पुंगनाम नरकरु प्राण करिवार कामटा हला पुत्र रो जेते बेले पुत जन्म हे गेला पुत्र सेतल को आपन को किछि चिंता रहला नाही जे मु निश्चित पुंगनाम नरकरु मुक्त हे जिबी एटा हला ता ड्यूटी सेथि पई आमे समस्त नै प्लीज रिपीट करन कटि होला पुरा पुंगनाम नरक पुंगनाम नरकरु प्राण करिवा दायित्व हला पुत्र रो जन्म मात्र रे से जन्म हबा द्वारा जन्म हबा क्षणी के जो नरक गमन दोष मर थिला से नरक को मु आउ जीवि नाही सेथि पई मते ओडे पुत्र दरकार जे पर्यंत पुत्र होउ नहांती मु पुत्रेष्टि यज्ञ करूची पुत्र कामना करी कि अनेक यज्ञ जागादी दान प्रभृति कर्म करूची बा बारो प्रकार पुत्र अछंदी सर बारो प्रकार पुत्र भीतर आपन श्रेष्ठ पुत्र हेले आपनकर बायोलॉजिकल नै नै बायोलॉजिकल त एटा को संस्कृत राखौ छी ना सेटा हो छी औरस पुत्र द्वादश विधेसु पुत्रेसु औरस पुत्र ह मुख्य तद भावे क्षेत्रज क्षेत्रज नाम जदा स्वयं असमर्थ ह पुत्र उत्पादनाय स अन्य कर्तृक पुत्रम उत्पादयेत अथवा दत्तपुत्रम गृण्यात अडप्ट सन पुत्र निमित्तम अडप्ट सन ग्रहणम कुर्जियात अथवा कनिष्ठ भ्रातुहु पुत्रम गृण्यात भागिनेयम गृण्यात भौणीर पुओ को नव ए भली करिकि से पुत्रवान हव पुत्रार्थे क्रियते भार्जिया पुत्र पिंडस्य कारणम ओके सैटिस्फाइड और नॉट एटा प्रॉपर्टी प्रॉब्लम थिला ना प्रॉपर्टी ओनरशिप किमिति पास ऑन करबो इट्स नॉट ओनली दैट मते श्राद्ध दबो के मु मुक्ति किमिति पाइबी प्रेतत्व रु पितृत्व को किमिति जिबी प्रेत माने लिसन ला सर सर तू रही जान तो बढ़िया क्वेश्चन सब होची ये तो बहुत समय लागि जिवो प्रेतत्व माने सद्य ह मृत ह प्रेत संगे संगे मरिया मात्रे से प्रेत हे गला तनो प्रेतर विमुक्ति प्रेतत्व र सारे लक्षण करा जाय छि डेफिनेशन करा जाय छि विज्ञानेश्वर करचंति खियुत पिपासा अग्रस्तत्वम प्रेतत्वम खियुधा पिपासा अवस्था रे भूरी बुले जिए से हला प्रेत तनो ये अवस्था रो मुक्ति दबो के ना केवल पुत्र दबो जे साध्य इत्यादि करकी हम्म नचेत से प्रेत हे कि बुलीला ताकु से उडे पूर्व पक्ष करी अर्थ करचंति तना सीमित नु ह बहुत दिन हला जे जाई सारी चंति से प्रेत प्रकृष्टेन इतह गतह प्रेत इमिति अर्थ मध्य करा जाय करा जाय छि किंतु ताकु से काटी कहउ छ ना सीमिति हुए नी आ सॉरी आपण डिले हो छि थैंक यू थैंक यू सर थैंक यू फॉर योर आंसर फॉर फॉर सेटिस्फाइंग द पार्टिसिपेंट्स एंड पर्टिकुलरली आवर प्रोफेसर दास एज अ मेंटर ऑफ ऑल द पर्संस हु हैव हियर प्रेजेंट थैंक यू सर सर्वत्र जय मन विच्छेद ओके ओके सर सर प्रणाम प्रणाम सर प्रणाम प्रणाम टू ऑल थैंक यू थैंक यू थैंक यू आ नाउ आई वांट टू कॉल आवर नेक्स्ट स्पीकर डॉक्टर प्रज्ञा प्रकाशोनी दास कानून को टू डिलीवर डिलीवर हर लेक्चर 
to the audience. Uh, Dr. Raskarunga, please. Namaskar to all. Am I audible? Sure, sure, sure. sure, sure. sure. Um, well, I was really engrossed in the discussion that was going on. Um, well, uh, let me complete uh, this part uh, addressing everyone, then I will share my views on that, then I will start my lecture. Uh, respected Chair, uh, Professor Tapan De, sir. My co-speaker, Professor Atul Kumar Nanda, sir, who I think who has already left for another meeting. The organizers, Professor Barla and uh, Professor Lakshman Patra. Uh, well, uh, the esteemed uh, participants, the great scholars who are among the participants, and uh, my dearest students. Uh, I'm really uh, glad and grateful that uh, I have been placed amongst uh, uh, such scholars of great repute uh, who have contributed enormously uh, in the field of philosophy, in the field of knowledge. They don't need an introduction, but I need one. Because my contribution is meager. I'm a person uh, who struggles with some of the other aspect of philosophy every day. Certain questions arise in my mind. I try to find answers to those questions. Certain questions are answered. And uh, certain questions are uh, they remain unanswered uh, for a long time. And that way, uh, my life goes on. And uh, that way, I keep my thirst for knowledge alive. Well, um, I'm glad that I'm a part of uh, this uh, webinar, this ICPR sponsored webinar on reappraisal of systems and problems while celebrating a centenary of Professor S. N. Das Gupta's history of Indian philosophy. Uh, my topic is uh, the concept of dharma in uh, Indian philosophical thought. Uh, well, I don't have very deep knowledge about the concepts of uh, Indian uh, philosophical thought. Uh, I have uh, consulted some of the secondary sources uh, that are available to me. But I'll definitely share my uh, knowledge, whatever knowledge I have gathered from those sources. Uh, please rectify me if I'm wrong anywhere during my lecture. Well, I'll start uh, with the task of philosophy. Uh, because we all profess philosophy, we know that the aim of philosophy uh, is to remove ignorance uh, relating to the nature of the ultimate purpose of life. And um, it helps us determine the means to realize that ultimate purpose. And uh, this purpose has governed the philosophic endeavor in India from the beginning. Uh, in Indian philosophical tradition, the purposes of human life are termed Purusarthas. Professor Nanda had been talking about uh, those Purusarthas, uh, uh, taking uh, you know, quotations from Puranas and Upanishads and all. Uh, the term uh, which means that which is desired or aimed at. My lecture is very simple because that is specially meant for the students who are present in the webinar. Uh, in the early texts, um, three such purusarthas are spoken of, dharma, artha, and kama, which are termed as three varga. Moksha is added later, and the schema is named chaturvarga. This doctrine of purusarthas, uh, as formulated and propagated uh, by Vedic thinkers, is a blueprint of an ideal life. Hiriyana uh, takes Purusartha to be a value, and uh, he makes a distinction between uh, intrinsic and uh, instrumental values. He considers Kama and Moksha, intrinsic values, and Artha and Dharma, instrumental values. The realization of Kama without Artha is not possible, as uh, the situation of desires needs a means. Kama is an intrinsic value as it is the foundation source of all our desires. But 
karma without dharma is crude hedonism or animal level of existence. Similarly, ortho without dharma is abnormal greed. Even dharma is an instrumental value, and but in a higher sense, it is instrumental in the individual's moral perfection or moksha. So we can say that ortho and kama regulated by dharma leads to moksha. Dharma plays a pivotal role in human life. I can conclude here. Then we can talk about the etymology of the term dharma. It's one of the Sanskrit words that defy all attempts at an exact rendering in English or any other term, says P. V. Kane in his monumental work, History of Dharma Sutra, Dharma Sastra, I'm sorry. The etymology of the word dharma can be of some help here in unfolding the meaning of the term. It is from the root dhru, as we all know, meaning uphold, support, or sustain. Dhru, dharana, poshana, yoha that which upholds and sustains. Uh, in Aitirya Brahmana, the expression dharmasya gupta, the protector of dharma is also used. In Chandogya Upanishad, three groups of dharma are mentioned. The rituals, yagya, study of scriptures, adhyayana, and austerities, tapas. Aitirya Upanishads, famous instruction satyam vada dharmam chara speak the truth and follow the path of righteousness carries the same idea it means both duties and obligations of a man in the society the mahabharat in shanti parva says dharanat dharma mityahu dharmo dharanyate prajaha it means it upholds, it is dharma that upholds the people of the world. There is another famous quotation from the epic. Dharma eva hato hanti dharma rakshati rakshitaha. It is dharma that destroys us when destroyed. It is dharma that protects us when protected by us. Upanishads describe as uh, dharma as Tat or Sat, the very essence of one's being. Whatever conduct or the way of life helps us reveal this fundamental principle in us is also called Dharma. Hence, religious rights, principles of conduct, duties, obligations of a man, depending on the stage of life and status in society, even rules of law, customs, manners, all of these can be included under the term dharma. Further, dharma is described as the foundation of the universe. The concept of dharma can be traced to the Vedic concept of rita, that is, cosmic order or the fundamental law governing the functioning of the universe. It is the immanent principle that explains the uniformities of nature. In the human domain, as moral order, it regulates the human action and behavior. This cosmic order and moral order, they are one and the same. Then I'd like to throw some light upon different conceptions or different forms of dharma uh, in some of the Indian philosophical systems. Uh, Lokayata. Uh, whose uh, hedonistic standpoint is expressed through Runam Pritta Gritam Vived, accepts Artha and Kama as values. Lokayatas are referred to as pleasure seekers, making no distinction between good and bad or right and wrong, Dharma and Adharma. Sabadashana Sangraha presents Lokayata as believers of Artha and Kama. Dharma and Moksha are not accepted as Purushtathas by the Lokayatas. Buddhism 
being essentially an ethical system, recognizes the importance of dharma. There are four important senses in which the word has been used in Buddhist philosophy and religion. The first is dharma in the sense of ultimate reality. It is both transcendent and imminent to the world and also governing law within it. Second, dharma in sense of scripture, doctrine, religion as the Buddhist dharma. Then third, dharma in the sense of righteousness, virtue and piety. Four, dharma in the sense of elements of existence. A Buddhist uh, Buddhism uh, aims at salvation or nirvana of every sentient being. Salvation means conformity of light to dharma, according to Buddhism. And dharma consists of dana, charity, virya, fortitude, sila, morality, shanti, patience, dhyana, meditation, and crowning all, pragya wisdom. In Mahayana Buddhism, Dharma and Moksha go hand in hand. Buddha says, he who sees Dhamma sees me, and he who sees me sees Dhamma. Dharma, one of the human goals, is nothing but the cessation of suffering or Dukkha. By adopting Dharma Chakra, the wheel of Dharma, or the eight fold noble path, right views, right thought, right speech, right conduct, right livelihood, right effort, right mindfulness, and right concentration, this Dharma Purushattva leads to the final goal, that is salvation, or Nirvana, or enlightenment. Like Buddhism, Jainism also lays stress on man's actions, which are of supreme importance as far as the please doctrine. Repeat from right conduct. Please repeat from right conduct. It was discontinued. It was not audible? Not audible. The, from right conduct. No. Okay. Okay. I, I repeat from there. It's okay. Noble eightfold path, right views, right thought, right speech, right conduct, right livelihood, right effort, right mindfulness, and right concentration. And this Dharma Purushartha leads to the final goal, that is salvation, or Nirvana, or enlightenment. Like Buddhism, Jainism lays stress on man's actions, which are of supreme importance. As far as the doctrine of Purushartha, the ultimate concern of man is concerned, in joint analysis of tattvas or categories, the objective of metaphysical inquiry is directed towards ethical perfection of self. In Jainism, there are two co-eternal categories, namely jiva and ajiva. Dharma and adharma belong to the class of ajiva, non-living reality. The phenomena of motion and rest are essential to everything that exists or can possibly exist. Dharma and adharma have been conceived as the precondition of motion and rest, respectively. They are the very conditions which make motion and rest possible. We also get another version concerning dharma in Jaina ethics. It speaks of three ingredients of discipline, which leads to freedom from karma or moksha. Right faith, right knowledge, and right conduct. Samyak darshana, samyak jnana, and samyak charitra. These three together are called three ratna, or three gems, as we all know. Right faith is faith in journal literature. Right knowledge is knowledge of truths contained in journal literature, or the proper understanding of the six categories. Right conduct is making one's life conform to the truths learned, and right conduct becomes possible 
for one who has right faith and right knowledge. The conduct which seeks to observe what are called the five vows or brata. These vows in their extreme form are meant for the ascetics. They are called great vows or mahabratas. In their modified form, they are lesser vows or anubrata that are meant for the laymen. They are non-violence, ahimsa, non-uttering of falsehood, satya, non-stealing, asteya, non-possession, aparikraha, and abstention of sensuality, brahmacharya. These imperatives for the common man is termed as grihastha dharma and those for the ascetics, sadhu dharma. Then in Purva Mimansha, we find uh, the supremacy of the Vedas. Uh, the Mimansha view is that Veda teaches dharma, a religious duty. What is dharma? Its response is, dharma is following the Vedic commands, which are in the forms of vidhi and nisheda, something which should be done and something which should not be done. The rituals enjoined. No, what, happened in Purvansa, what happens in Purva Mimansa? You got muted. Muted? Mm, for some time. What happens in Purva Mimansa? Yes. Okay. I'm repeating that. Yes, sir. It is audible. Actually, something is wrong uh, with your connection, sir, I think. I'm not muted, actually. Okay, I, I'll repeat that. I'll repeat that. In Purva Mimansha, we find the supremacy of the Vedas. The Mimansha view is that Veda teaches dharma, a religious duty. Now, what is dharma to this question? Its response is, it is following the Vedic commands, which are in the forms of vidhi and nisheda, something which should be done and something which should not be done. The rituals enjoined in the Veda, the rituals belong to the supernatural order. So dharma here is religious duty. The aim of the Vedas is to impel man to perform dharma. Then um, I'll uh, shed some light on uh, the conception of Veda in Advaita Vedanta of Shankara. The Advaita Vedanta of Shankara it emphasizes the idea that infinite dwells in all finite. It is because the infinite Brahman is revealed to a larger extent in human beings that they are entitled to ethical and logical activity. Excuse me. So it believes in the realization of the identity with infinite reality as the final end of life, the proper food of every soul, and the only supreme value. The only object that can give us permanent satisfaction is the experience of Brahman, Brahmanubhava. It is the supreme state of joy, peace, and perfection of individual development. The means of having that experience is to avoid egoism, which was Shankara, the greatest evil, and to embrace love and compassion. We must subdue our senses. Pride must give place to humility, resentment to forgiveness, narrow attachment to family, to universal benevolence. Duties are said to be opportunities for men to sink the egoistic self and grow out into the world. He also says to avoid sins forbidden by the Sastras. The study of Vedas, sacrifices, offerings, fasts are a means to knowledge. He also says that while spiritual insight into the nature of the ultimate reality leads to moksha, the worship of God in this 
or, or that form leads to escape from selfish desires, hatred, dullness, and attain calm, peace, and patience in suffering in this world. For him, bhakti adds jnana. He also accepts yoga practice with samadhi as the end. And performance of all these acts is dharma. Then we can consider the version of Dharma Shastras about uh, Dharma. The well known Manava Dharma Shastra or Manu Samhita can be used for reference here. Verse 1 of chapter 2 says, Listen, my peoples, I shall describe Dharma. It is always honored by the honest. And the wise, it is followed by those who are above attachment, aversion, and it is approved by their hearts. And in those days, uh, any learned person would be an expert in Vedic uh, studies. So there is a connection between Dharma and the Vedas. The ever quotation from Manu Samhita also points to the fact that the Dharma prescriptions cannot be based upon personal greed or hatred. Impartiality is an essential ingredient in the constitution of dharma. And the last qualification stated in the verse is also very important. Dharma should meet the approval of the heart of the honest and the wise. Hypocrisy can never be a part of dharma behavior. Then in verse 6 of the same chapter of Manu Sanghita, five authorities of dharma are cited. One, the entire Vedas. Two, the Dharma Shastras. Three, virtues cultivated by Vedic scholars. Four, the good conduct of the honest. And five, the satisfaction of the mind or the agent. In verse 12, the same idea is repeated. Four authorities are mentioned instead of five. One, the scriptures. Two, the dharma sastras. Three, the conduct of the good. And four, satisfaction of the agent or the mind. Then in Ramayana, dharma is described by Valmiki as Rama Bigravan Dharmaha. Rama is dharma personified, or he is righteousness personified. For him, duty is for the duty's sake, irrespective of its consequences. He refuses to deviate from dharma and decided to go into exile in obedience to the command of his father. It is the same dharma, kula dharma, family honor, that Rama was afraid of when he decided to abandon Sita. Now, Dharma uh, is mentioned here about 1100 times uh, in Ramayana, emphasizing Raja Dharma, Kshatriya Dharma, and Dharma of different burners. Now, about Raja Dharma, uh, we find some verses. Uh, which says the Raja Dharma is uh, the Rajas are for protecting people, cruel or not cruel, they have to protect them. It goes like this, exactly goes like this for protecting people, cruel or not cruel, king shall do. Means the king should readily do whether cruel or not. Not all acts necessary to protect people. He should protect the people even if the act is sinful or even wrong. That is his duty. Then it is said that we can uh, quote Gandhari uh, also saying this. 
यतो धर्म ततो जय वे दर इज धर्म दर इज विक्ट्री तो इट इज सेट दैट एज द कॉस्मोस ऑफ द वर्ल्ड इज गवर्न बाय कॉस्मिक ऑर्डर द सोसाइटी एंड इंडिविजुअल्स आर सस्टेन्ड बाय सोशल ऑर्डर विच इंक्लूड्स सर्टन कस्टम्स ट्रेडिशंस ड्यूटीज वर्च्यूज बोथ द कॉस्मिक एंड द सोशल ऑर्डर आर कॉल्ड धर्म then it also uh, stresses upon another feature of dharma that is loka sangraha the welfare or well being of all people the mahabharata broadly classifies dharma as into two modes with two distinct purposes prabriti lakshana dharma and nivriti lakshana dharma prabriti lakshana dharma means having the characteristic of worldly involvement dharma in this mode refers to involvement in life which is related to the worldly welfare or mundane affairs nivriti lakshana dharma having the characteristic of renunciation of the mundane affairs leading to emancipation dharma in the former sense is concerned with duty through righteous actions in this world some of these dharmas are swadharma ashrama dharma varna dharma jati dharma raja dharma etc in the latter sense it is other worldly with regard to emancipation we can include nishkama karma here that i am going to talk about a uh, little later in both the ways dharma results in the welfare of all beings now we can um, shed some light on uh, different forms of prabuddhi lakshana dharma the first one is swadharma shri krishna lays emphasis on swadharma it is the core concept in the entire framework of bhagavad gita shri krishna teaches arjuna to be attentive of his swadharma the swadharma of arjuna is kshatriya dharma and this kshatriya dharma is to protect the virtuous and punish the vicious the gita makes a distinction between swadharma and paradharma we have heard uh, the famous saying swadharma nidhanam shreya paradharma bhaya bhaya it is not a distinction of social castes and hereditary professions it cuts across such classification and swadharma is determined by swabhava or one's natural ability or disposition guna and karma then the term varna dharma which is used in the bhagavad gita in sense of duties obligatory to the social order swadharma is the moral duty prescribed for all belonging to any varna there are four varnas in the society namely brahmanas who are spiritually elevated and can act as guiding light for others kshatriyas who possess vigor and who make sure that righteousness is followed by all vaishyas who are worldly wise and and have a knack in trade and commerce and sudras who serve others by their physical labor the most important thing which is to be mentioned here is that varna dharma is not hereditary because it has nothing to do with lineage but with natural endowments it is different from jati dharma uh, we'll have some quotations uh, from uh, uh, different sources uh, regarding varna dharma 
first i'd like to quote shankara he says he who has learned to look upon the phenomenal world in the light of non dualism is my true teacher be it a chandala or a dvija this is my conviction then we can have some instances from uh, the mahabharata uh, we can take the instance of vyasa the author of mahabharata um he doesn't belong to either of the two upper castes dronacharya was a brahmin but was the teacher of the pandavas so then uh, ekalavya uh, who uh, belonged uh, to a lower caste and was having the skills of a warrior vidura uh, who is vyasa's son that uh, his mother is a sudra so this varna dharma is different from jati dharma is not doesn't have to do anything with birth so this ethical conduct or the pursuit and the practice of dharma has nothing to do with birth then we can quote lord krishna saying that i have created the four burners in reliance upon the division of qualities and actions chaturvarnam maha srishtam guna karma vibhagashah it's a part of the verse then um, we come to ashrama dharma which is obligatory for every individual during different stages of life in the social order there are four distinct stages brahmacharya grahastya vanaprastha and sanyasa brahmacharya is a stage of celibacy and self control grahastya is a stage of the householder vanaprastha is a stage of remaining in seclusion and devoting more time to divine contemplation and sanyasa is a stage of renunciation so these are the duties uh, performed by man as for his nature and his place in the social order chaturvarna vyavastha and varnashrama vyavastha these are the duties whose performance provides identity to individuals in the society and lead them to emancipation then there is another term that is called apata dharma dharma at times is flexible and uh, acts as apat dharma which is based on certain exemptions given to devi deviate from dharma in certain adverse conditions then we can have a discussion on nishkama karma the performance of the duties that i have already discussed should be without having any attachment towards desires that is nishkama karma the act that is performed with a sense of duty without attachment to fruits and accomplishment of desires the performance of duties without attachment to desires is not an actionless state but the state of excellence in performance karma su kaushalam through the performance of nishkama karma one gets complete freedom from the cycle of birth and death which is the ultimate goal of metaphysical and moral life in the gita now arjuna had to fight for the maintenance of social order or dharma as that was the only way he could perform his swadharma and varna dharma krishna's attempt was that if he fights the war with attachments to merits or demerits victory or defeat he will be emancipated 
Arjuna's fighting the war is no aggression, but yoga in action. Yoga karma shokoshalam. The, this, all these ideas, uh, the, the ideas of Nishkama Karma, Swadharma, Varna Dharma, Ashrama Dharma, they all are interwoven with each other and serve the same purpose. That is uh, searching the solution of moral crisis or uh, moral dilemma. Uh, there are at times uh, moral conflicts and moral dilemmas uh, that we face in everyday life. Um, one reason of this might be the weakness of the will or akrasya that Socrates says. We can quote Duryodhan uh, saying, Janami dharmam nachame prabhrutihi, Janami adharma nachame nivritihi. I know what is dharma, but I cannot persuade myself to act accordingly. I know what is adharma, but I am not able to refrain from it. Now, the best known moral dilemma is the one faced by Arjuna in the battlefield. Dilemma between Manava Dharma to protect human lives and Kshatriya Dharma to protect the social order. And Krishna advises him to choose the latter. Then uh, we can ask some, uh, more, after discussing all this, we can ask some morally uh, relevant questions like uh, regarding this uh, Mahabharat war, which is said to be a just war or uh, Dharma Yuddha. We can ask a question that can a war be dharmic? Because war is always treated as an evil. Uh, that is a, a war ongoing between uh, Russia and Ukraine. Is it a just war? Uh, well, if I attempt to answer this question, my answer is Krishna, whose presence makes Mahabharat war a just war. But now, with the changing situation, the concept of morality has undergone change. It is a regular evolutionary process. So the concept of dharma, I'd like to say that is elusive. And we cannot have one universal definition of dharma, which is accepted by all people at all times and uh, in all situations. There are different forms of dharma. If we speak about the present day problems, the moral dilemmas that we are subjected to, we can say that the words of wisdom uttered by our ancient seers, our scriptures, they act like panacea, they offer a solution. So I'd like to conclude uh, my talk by saying that by following dharma, by being righteous, you can truly be Amrutasya Putra that we were talking about uh, yesterday during the seminar. So as a part of uh, this Azadika Amrit Mahotsav, let's come together not only to sing our national anthem, but to feel that we are all one, a part of divinity. Jai Dharma, Jai Hind. Thank you so much for the opportunity. Thank you, Dr. Das Kanango, for presenting a difficult concept of Dharma in a lucid manner to the participants covering all the areas of Indian philosophy, including the concept offered by Socrates in Leviathan. Nicely presented by Dr. Daskanungo. Without much delay, I 
just invite the questions from the participants in this virtual platform. Uh, Surjo, Surjo Kanto Maharana, my friend, is also here. That is for Ghosh. Sir, Sarjito, uh, Sarji is there, but my friend, please, all the participants are requested to put their questions to the speaker. Uh, Professor A.R. Mohapatra is also there. Namaskar, sir. Namaskar, Namaskar. Namaskar, Namaskar. Hey, yeah, lock on. The chat box sector, Prashna, see lock on. Chat, see the chat box. Sinarani, no. There is no question. Uh, one question that. Uh, you could have explained six virtues of dharma or as sat sampat. This question by this Srivasan uh, Krishnamurti. The six virtues of dharma. Six virtues of dharma. Is, uh, Ma so ahimsa, ahimsa, yes. truth. Okay, non violence. Uh, uh, truth, uh, the Naste, Aparigraha, Brahmacharya, talking about those virtues. All the virtues, any system, you know, every system talks about some virtue or the other. All the virtues are included in the concept of Dharma. Dharma is all about virtues that makes uh, the individual perfect, that makes the individual attain uh, emancipation. So it speaks about the Shama, Dhamma, Titiksha, Uparati, Titiksha, Shraddha, and Samadhana. These are the virtues of Shatsampati as told by us in Vedas as well as by Sri Adi Shankaracharya Guru about the six virtues which are essential to maintain the Dharma. Yes, thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Yes, thank you, sir. Well, uh, uh, Mr. Chair, Sir, if I'm allowed to speak a few words, then... Sir, please, please, please. Dharma is a concept which is functional. It is not structural. So if you ask what is what are the characteristics of Dharma, then different answers will come from different quarters. Yes. yes. According to Manu, Dharma is a dasalakshanam. Ten uh, characteristics of dharma. They are dhriti, patience, yes. dhamma, forgiveness, dhamma, self-control, asteya, non-stealing, saucha, cleanliness, indriya nigraha, control over organs or disciplining of organs, dhihi, benevolent intellect, vidya, spiritual knowledge, satyam, benevolent truthfulness, then akrodha, non-anger. So it could be 10, it could be 6, it could be 4, it could be 8. According to the need of the society uh, at a particular given time. Yes. And what I, yes. what, I, what I just indicated, this is so according to Manu. Okay, over. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Thank you. I just want to say that all the virtues are subsumed under the concept of Dharma. Hello. Hello. Uh, yes, Dr. Koilas. Dr. Koilas, uh, please. Sir, uh, sir Pranam, sir. Pranam, sir. Uh, actually, the word dharma has been uh, used in different senses in Asian uh, Dasgupta's uh, uh, a history of Indian philosophy. Uh, but uh, what, are, what are Dasgupta's uh, uses of dharma in Buddhism or Buddhist scripture? Dasgupta's Dharma in Buddhism. Yes, yes. Okay. Hey, you have that part of the um, book. You please say. Sir, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, Dr. Kalashina Maharaj. I don't know. I know that Hetu, Hetu or Kods is, uh, is one of the uses, but uh, is there uh, other uses? 
ഈ വലിട്ട് നോ സോറി <laughs> ശരണം ഭയശൂന്യതാ നോ ഫിയർ ചിത്തപ്രസന്നത ബ്ലിസ് ആത്മജ്ഞാന ലാഭ സെൽഫ് നോലേജ് ദൻ ദാന പരനിഷ്ഠ ഇന്ദ്രിയ ദമന യജ്ഞ വേദാധ്യയന തപസ്യ സരളത അഹിംസ സത്യ അക്രൂല ത്യാഗ ശാന്തി പരനിന്ദാ വർജന ദിനഠാരെ ദയാ ലോഭശൂന്യത മൃദുത ലജ്ജ ചപത ശൂന്യ തേജ ക്ഷമാ ധൃതി സൗച വാട്ട് ഓൾറെഡി ഇറ്റ് ഇസ് എക്സ്പ്ലെയിൻ നെറേറ്റഡ് ദ്രോഹ ബൈ ഹിംസ ന കരിവാ ദീസ് ആർ ഓൾ 26 ക്വാളിറ്റീസ് ഓഫ് ദി വെർച്യൂസ് അക്കോർഡിംഗ് ടു ശ്രീ കൃഷ്ണ ഇൻ ഭഗവത് ഗീത സോ ദി ഡിവൈൻ ഇഫക്ട് ബൈ ഡോക്ടർ സമ്പദ് ജീവാ ഹാ ഹാ ദാറ്റ് ഇസ് ഇൻ ദ ദൈവാസുവ സമ്പദ ജോ so mm-hmm. as there are so many uh, authors they are also putting different types of dharma even the mono what our sir told also regarding uh, the dharma so it vary from person to person but practically we must say regarding the need of the hour need of the society uh, at that time practically whether you will accept dharma in our life or you will accept that is the uh, adhyatikata spirituality in our life which is uh, more acceptable yes yes whether in philosophy whether will in philosophy will stick to dharma or will stick to spirituality in our life day to day life yes, the impermanence sir. of the world would be the dharma for buddhism dharma, dharma is the way of life dharma is the way of life sir no, no. Dharma, right, dharma, it is a way of life and the form of life ഡിഫറൻസ് ബിറ്റ്വീൻ ധർമ്മോ ദാറ്റ് വിഷ്ണു ഇൻകാർനേറ്റ് ടു പ്രിസർവ് ആൻഡ് ധർമ്മോ that is termed as religion by us like hindu muslim sikh etc have you got it yes yes okay. actually um actually um in some places dharma and religion both the terms are used interchangeably but they cannot be used interchangeably dharma is uh, a more comprehensive and uh, broader it's a broader concept than religion we can say that religion is the institutionalized form of dharma you know religion is uh, I, i can be more elaborate by saying that uh, uh, the term religion is uh, derived from the latin root religare which means bind that means it binds people and the concept of dharma when we talk about this concept it also binds people together so in a broader sense we can say that yes dharma and religion both has same but in a narrow sense i mean in a narrow sense we can say that uh, dharma and religion has same but in a broader sense from a broader perspective religion is narrower than dharma dharma is the basis of all religions dharma is the basis of all religions we can say that Okay. dharma is wider dharma is wider religion yes. is uh, narrower it is binding that is also binding but it is binding groups and sects but that is binding the whole of humanity yes 
uh, what as we, we call dharma cannot be translated as a religion. religion. No, like uh, Swami Vivekananda also makes yeah. a distinction Swami between Vivekananda universal Vivekananda religion. Is not religion. Actually, religion. Sir, sir, sir. Mahapattu, sir. Please uh, get me taken, sir. Uh, what is dharma? That is uh, not to be translated as religion. Yeah, yeah, religion yeah, yeah, yeah. is not dharma. Yes, sir. Uh, religion uh, is different yes, from dharma. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Uh, another question is there in the chat box. Uh, what is the purpose of dharma? What is the purpose of dharma, Priyanka Nayak? Uh, put this question to you, ma'am. The purpose of dharma is to make man perfect. To help man lead an ideal life, a life of righteousness. The purpose of dharma is to help man identify himself with the whole of humanity. The purpose of dharma is to make us one. Vasudeva Kutumbakam. That's it. Dharma, dharma is the leader of our life. Yes. It leads us to the right path. For the right goal, it leads us from purpose. ignorance to enlightenment. That is the purpose of the dharma. Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you. Uh, is there uh, any question, Sinarani Nayak? Sinara Nayak, you are raising your yes, hand. Sir. Yeah, have you any question? Namaskar, ma'am. Namaskar, sir. Yes. A good, a good evening to all. My first question is, ma'am, प्रथम में धर्मों को division कौन पाएं करा हला? तापर जो भी धर्मों को division करा हला ब्राह्मणों क्षेत्रीय सुद्रो बोइसेरे तो तापोरे भी तो कुआं हो जिना जाति धर्म निर्विशेषरे समस्ते समान division करा सरला पर benefit कौन हो जो भी division ना है इतना ता ताल कौन है इतना ता Sorry, sir. Born no, born no, sir. Sorry, born no. Ah, dharma. Born no, common na kono. Na all gram. Prasam prachali Mane dha born no ko kono pani division kara hala. Se prasam utkai gutla. Sir, na prasam esre mane koi dil bhi dharma bolli. Na dharma bhi sir kono chhipa charno. Okay, let me answer this question. Mm. Uh, Varna Dharma is a form of Dharma. It is for the maintenance of the social order. Okay, and it is different from Jati Dharma that I have already mentioned. It is not uh, hereditary. It's not. Uh, it has. Got, it doesn't have a got to do with uh, the birth of uh, the persons concerned. Um, it is based on Sobhava, Guna, and actions, qualities, and actions. So this division was necessary to carry out the activities of the society. It was to maintain the social order. That division was necessary. As the division is based upon the quality and the action of the individuals, every individual can give his best to the society. Every individual can contribute in the best possible way to maintain the social order. That's why the division is there. Sinarani, yes, the division of Varna, that is the Dharma. The uh, Dharma, Muslim, Muslim Dharma, Christian Dharma, Yudhi Dharma, image of the division of the Buddha, the Sri Mada, the original Spasta, the Koidele, Sorba Dharman, Paritaja, Mamikam Saran. It is a division with Harikiri Gutti. Gutti means one other than Dormu was. I guess I guess I was to push no guitar, a Borno Dharmotakum of the seat of Guru to the Chanti. Kagina, see Tahile, the Jodiame, Chanti Borno, Nokoriva, Tala Lukomanoka with a Kormor confusion as you. Kia Konokori or Tikani. Then Kori Sikoile, Totur Borno, Maya Susta, Guno Kormo Vivasa. Then Guru Abu Kormo Musare. There is no voice to this. And Orta, Jore Loko, Dimti Madame Kote, Hedit on Brahmo Brahmo Hyperuni. Brahmo the Tara Kormo no Kuruji. See Taratu Brahmo Podavacho Kora Hyperuni. See Brahmo Alitvaloti. See Brahmo Potitara Ganotibo. 
ब्रह्मज्ञान भितर थी तेल से ब्राह्मण हो पार एपरिकी गोटे शूद्र लोक ब्रह्म ज्ञान थी आम कहीं ब्राह्मण कहवा ना ठीक जमी वैश्य वैश्य रर्म हूँ से बिजने कर लोक मान से सेवा जोगेब शूद्र काम है सी लोक मान सेवा सब अन्न्य बर्ण लोक मान सेवा कर कनभिनियंट अवश्य बर्तमान आम कह पार जे जन लोक जे ब्राह्मण से सब ब्राह्मण हो रही बा शूद्र जे सब शूद्र हो रही ता नुह तार मानसिकता जो पर शूद्र मध्य ब्राह्मण हम और ब्राह्मण जो तार कुकर्म कर शूद्र पदवाच्य हम यही कथा को आधार कर श्रीकृष्ण जाति बर्ण से चार बर्ण कर चार बर्णटा के खराब बोली ग्रहण कर जीवन से आवश्यक धर्म इज़ द बेसिस ऑफ़ ऑल रिलीजन्स आई थिंक देयर इज नो अदर क्वेश्चन सो वी कैन कम टू दी कंक्लूडिंग पॉइंट ऑफ दिस वेबिनार रेदर द सीरीज ऑफ लेक्चर्स आई हैंडेड ओवर द माइक टू दी ऑर्गेनाइजर प्लीज इट विल बी योर रिमार्क यू यू विल बी गिविंग योर रिमार्क्स एट द एंड प्रेसेंटली मैम प्रोफेसर अतुल नंद एंड डॉक्टर दास कानून गो एंड आई थिंक बोथ द स्पीकर were in the boundary of their topic area which they have chosen to speak here and i also think that they have purposefully and effectively sent their message to the party to the society through the participants that we have to follow the path of dharma a right path to live like ram or sukha jeevan ram not like ravana with this few words offering my heartiest uh respect both the speakers and the teachers here present uh professor mahapatra professor jp das and my friends uh, professor maharana professor jhaleshwar ghos and the other respected members professor srinivas krishna i just want to conclude my presidential address with these few words thank you thank you all sadhu 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 thank thank you thank you chair professor sir professor tapande uh, my respected teacher uh, professor ganesh prasad das esteemed uh, participants so actually i enjoy uh, the seminar the webinar is a uh, nice experience for me that uh, pragya das kanun goes lecture i Uh, listen very uh, sincerely that na jamme mu dharma na chebo prabhuti na jamme mu dharma na chebo nibruti toya husi ke so hudesh thitano jotha project se tatha karami thank you organizer lakshman patra and all the participants thank you sir professor ganesh patra das sir thank you so much thank you thank you professor ghosh thank you sir thank you sir
thank you okay thank you thank you uh, thank you uh, chairperson today's chairperson uh, professor tapande and the speaker uh, professor atul kumar nanda and the co speaker um, shrimati dr pragyam prakash singh das kanungo uh, now we are <coughs> um uh, coming to our the last part of the session uh, that is the validatory session uh, the validatory uh, address will be given by the professor amulya mahapatra uh, before i invite him i just give his uh, short summary of this uh, uh, four days uh, lecture uh, you know that uh, the session was uh, started uh, by the uh, inaugural address by the principal dr gopala haldar and uh, followed by the speaker professor ganesh prasad das who, de who delivered the lecture on uh, sn das gupta the historian of indian philosophical tradition in his paper he nicely el elaborated professor sn das gupta's contribution to indian philosophy in the five volumes not only the peoples of india the to the whole of the world his life and his philosophy is reflected in his work how he was determined to study the whole shastras and he accomplished it asan das gupta was not only a man he was a yogi he was a philosopher his mission and vision was to read the whole the system of indian philosophy and the first day the next speaker was the uh, dr srimati charuvala mahanti uh, assistant professor retired saudar college kottak she delivered uh, on advaita conception of mind in his paper she elaborated that uh, advaita vedanta in advaita vedanta the mind is a subtle substance it is neither atomic nor infinite in size the mind of each jiva is different the mind which is called internal organ that is antakarana is produced from the sapta part of all the five subtle elements together in second day the speaker was the professor dilip mahanta and professor lokinkat padi professor mahanta delivered his lecture on uh, some introductory remarks about sri aurobindo's philosophy and his view on the status of the world in his paper professor mohant nicely elaborated that sri aurobindo's philosophy is based on integralism it is the synthesis of idealism realism pragmatism and spiritualism according to him jogo transferred the human kind life and body to superman known thyself is the keynote of philosophy of sri aurobindo if you own know yourself your true nature and your innate capacity you will be able to know the whole world the next speaker was uh, professor lokingant padi in his paper titled is indian philosophy mystical he nicely elaborated what is mysticism what uh, who is a mystic what are the basic characteristics of mysticism mystical accounts in words of uh, religious tradition he has also nicely elaborated the different uh, uh, mysticism view of mysticism of bk maithilal and rasel he said that mysticism refers to the human beings direct experience or consciousness of ultimate reality in third day we have two speak we had uh, two speakers a professor tapan kumar uh, dev uh, professor uh, tapan kumar dev uh, delivered his lecture SN Das Gupta's on Buddhism uh, he has elaborately uh, analyzed the concept of uh, uh, nirvana and he told that the role of buddhism from uh, for establishment of universal compensation universal happiness the role of uh, buddhism uh, is very important in the uh, present society and the next speaker was the dr sujatant maharana from the alabadi university uh, in his paper uh, the greatness of classical indian philosophy he elaborated uh, the uh, 
philosophy of uh, Radha Kishan, uh, C. D. Sharma, the Professor uh, Chattopadhyay, uh, Dattan Chatterjee, uh, their contribution to Indian philosophy. Uh, the Indian philosophy uh, is uh, very important till today. Like Ghar uh, Ghar uh, Tiranga, the Indian philosophy uh, should be read each and every institution. Um, not only each and every institution, each and every student of India. The importance of the greatness of classical Indian philosophy is relevant to the present society. And today, that is on 14th August, uh, the speaker, uh, Atul Kumar Bey, uh, in his paper, he said that, uh, he uh, uh, spoke on Purusartha, Dharma, Artha, Kama, and Mokhya. Dharma is the supreme principle to attain liberation. Everything should be controlled by the Dharma. The last speaker on the list, uh, Dr. Pragyan Prakashin Das Kanungo, has elaborated his pa uh, her paper, Dharma in Indian Philosophical Thought. Uh, in his paper, he uh, said the different uh, concepts of dharma in Indian philosophy, dharma, artha, kama, mukhya, different sense of dharma. Um, also, he, she also elaborated the concept of dharma in the Bhagavad Gita. Uh, that is, dharma is used in the different sense, uh, like uh, dharma is the transcendental and immanent. Dharma is in sense of uh, righteousness. Dharma is in sense of existence. Dharma is in sense of charity, daya, dana. So the concept of dharma uh, in the banar dharma, ashram dharma, she has uh, rightly elaborated. This was the, uh, the short summary of the four days, eight papers. Uh, now I invite uh, Professor uh, Amulya Kumar Mahapatra to give his in a, um, Sorry, validator address. Uh, my dear friends and uh, our revered Professor Ganesh Prasad Das and uh, those who are attending this webinar, to all of them, I convey my gratefulness, particularly on the day of 14th, uh, that is uh, Augusta, in which day we are hosting the national flag in each and every home on the occasion of 75 Independent Day being observed throughout India not only in India, but even abroad also. However, today I want to say something on Indian philosophy on this meditatory uh, speech. Although I have not covered all the papers in the sense that because of my inefficiency uh, or incapability, anyhow, I am thankful to Dr. Lakman Patra and my friend Ganesh Das because they have given this chance to say something on Indian philosophy and other papers. Particularly S.M. Das Gupta, his philosophy is highly intellectual and at the same time deeply philosophical. Even when I was the students of philosophy at Bani Bihar, I used to get very rare opportunity to read this S.N. Gupta Indian philosophy. Rather, we are much more acquainted with the other uh, textbook, even not Radha Krishna, but Dutta and Chatterjee, very nice books. And uh, 
एस एम दास गुप्ता ऑफकोर्स देट वॉज अ वेरी डिफिकल्ट टू कंज्यूम और टू डाइजेस्ट हाउ वर वेरी इजी बुक आई एम फॉरगेटिंग द नेम एक्चुअली बट इवन टू आवर स्टूडेंट्स ऑल्सो वे दैट इज सजेस्टेड not to read s n das gupta or radha krishna's book on indian philosophy but other very uh, jadunath sinha and uh, some forgetting this exact name because now i am now i am more acquainted with contemporary indian philosophy than this traditional indian philosophy but i am very uh, thankful to s n das, das gupta in his indian philosophy he has narrated nicely the uh, you know the aspect of upanishads in that uh, and yoga but i'm sorry to say that that is upanishads are not accepted or not actually studied uh, vividly or elaborately nowadays in our indian philosophy we stick only to that traditional indian philosophy even the yoga is not included in it therefore the students are deprived to know practically what is yoga and how to uh, uh, conduct yoga in our day to day life because that yoga is highly beneficial it is practical in our uh, day to day life we must accept the yoga of patanjali expert that is a hatha yoga or that is the patanjali yoga shastra so this is these are all my uh, observations and uh, i think also that in contemporary indian philosophy we can also include more other philosophers like jidu krishna murti because some uh, i think authors uh, or some uh, people of men of philosophy they have taken uh, the krishnamurti as a philosopher he is a philosopher no doubt in in connection to the contemporary indian philosophy when you read the suppose vivekananda aurobindo and uh, so many others rabindranath tagore all these are all uh, contemporary indian philosophy similarly we can say the krishnamurti also in that sense he is also no doubt uh, contemporary indian philosopher all the things are highly necessary but and also that is uh, not only upanishad but we must also give emphasis on bhagavad gita and the other aspects that today we have covered the paper uh, of uh, pragya paramita and where she has mentioned lightly all these aspects uh, that is uh, your uh, purushartha uh, dharma artha and kama mukha all these are the indian ethics so we should give more emphasis in our uh, curriculum and in the uh, courses of studies that is the indian ethics because the moral philosophy uh, nowadays uh, it is not neglected of course in our uh, system of uh, study but uh, that is to be inculcated in our life without moral philosophy we cannot think of a good man a man we can say that he is a good man because he is good only in the sense only in philosophical aspect he is not only good but in practical life also he is good therefore swami vivekananda used to say be good and do good if you are only good that is not enough when you are doing something good for this nation for this uh, country or for this downtrodden people those who are backward or you can say intellectually they are poor for them also just like as we say atiti deva bhava matru deva bhava pitru deva bhava and daridro deva bhava So those who are neglected in our society, we should try our level best to give them knowledge. That proper knowledge, 
that knowledge is also we can say that is the abhyulaya there is a one kind of enlightenment as we generally know in our vedanta philosophy the ignorance is cause of all sorrows so when we try to give light light of knowledge then we can do something good for our society we can do for uh, philosophy also we can do everything is good so how can a man is good until and unless he is not having that morality he should know what is morality what is religion what is spirituality and how all these are necessary for our life sometimes we feel we read philosophy we study philosophy we do research on philosophy but uh, that philosophy is only theoretical it is not it is not the either it is a form of life no doubt but it is not a way of life if a philosophy is not concerned with the way of life not dealing with our day to day life that that philosophy is uh, is not necessary in the sense as the, suppose the yoga is more necessary than the other system, other traditional system of philosophy we must know the life of the great men mahapurusha those who are uh, the great men and they are giving their own feelings they are giving some sort of experience to us enlightenment to us so i think always the indian philosophy should be in a such a way and that philosophy can help us to build our life in a noble way in a spiritual way if a man is not spiritual if a man is not moral he cannot discharge his duty properly in the society therefore today i was also giving my talk in the postal department i was telling that suppose a doctor is good a collector is good he is discharging good service only because he is a good man only because he is a spiritual man he is a moral person otherwise he will be more corrupted he cannot discharge his function properly suppose a doctor when he is not giving proper service to mankind then in that case he is not a good, good doctor the doctor is having good hand his practices turned out good but he is trying to that is he is trying to earn more money so his mentality is not to serve the people but his mentality is to earn more money so that sort of temperament ultimately he is doing some corruption in our society people are more corrupted niti bhrasht se niti bhrasht hai chwa tu se tar jibon ro annay aniti durniti samasta prakar ku karm re se lipt rahuchi tenu amku ame jodi janiba what is morality what is actually our dharma swadharma what that is narrated in gita what is our swadharma and the philosophy one can know the swadharma only when the man understand what is philosophy some days before i was telling to some of our the students at that is the jaipur college that philosophy is it is not to study the different shastras different traditional uh philosophy or traditional set of uh, branches of knowledge but philosophy is darshana means it is a introspection first we must introspect antarnihita gyanor vikas jimiti as suppose uh, in case of arjuna arjuna is having some knowledge and knowledge regarding his own duties how to fight well how to struggle 
we the other uh, that is his brother that is Kaurava etc. But he did not have that kind of introspection or inner feeling. Antarnihita Sakti Jedaku Lord Krishna has given to him. That is you know, Jibya Drushti. He was capable of observing all his friends, each and kin's relatives, etc. But he has not, even he can see Lord Krishna in his external vision, in his, through his sense organs, eye. But he could not see even the Lord Krishna or uh, his uh, capability, his ability, his uh, resources through his ordinary vision. But as, as we know all, that Vishwarupa Darshana, Sri Krishna has shown him Vishwarupa. See, when Vishwarupa has seen the Arjuna Pratham, he 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 has seen the Arjuna Pratham, the Kabul Pato Polidova, Bohi Polidova, among the Kumukusta Kori Lekidova, Bataku, get by hand Korikame Lekidova, Saitam or Dostona with Danhe, Dostona with Dahoji, Epriaco Bidia, Dahaku Kuadi of Bromo Bidia, Atmo Giano, Amicona Amor Bortomarjo, traditional philosophy, oh, contemporary philosophy, oh, Kimba Amor linguistic philosophy, oh. By symbolic logic, how? But the course, you know, all the our course is right. If you look at our our human society, complete, one of them is very strong. Very strong, the other one is very strong. our particular image is very strong. Today, our yoga position is very strong. More practical, more pragmatic is very strong. Kabala Andhaku Mantaku Aloko de Keva Jaha and Kaina Andho, see Aloko Kurundani Baruni, see Gano Kurundani Barnu, Taku, see realized Kuribo, religion is realization. So Vivekananda has told it, emphasized it, that religion is realization. Jodi said philosophy to put a realized no Kuribo, that Jibonoros Tabuji used Kurno Parla. This is a philosophy for your lavacon. Tell Ajiva Pono de Kondu, Sibumi Bibino University would have the Kutili, courses of study, Seban Ankara, Epoki, Udisilam of the Ketura, Jomanisu, Kirsi University, Pakura Mokari, Amor Sisi, Robison Kondo University, Irahoti, Dormo for the best court case of Basamanagode, social culture opera. The best quality is someone who is a person 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 who is a political science, a person who is 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 Bondu माने जेउ माने सब फिलोसोफी पढौ चंती सेमान को पाखर छात्र माने फिलोसोफी जे की पढौ चंती आगो काल रे हमें देखि थुलु जे जियो पिला माने कलकत्ता युनिवर्सिटी जादवपुर युनिवर्सिटी विश्व भारती युनिवर्सिटी मान करे जियो पिला माने ही बेसी फिलोसोफी पढौ छले किंतु वर्तमान की जियो केही की पुओ केही फिलोसोफी न बाकु चाहुनाति पढिबाकु चाहुनाति मु थरे थरे भाबे जे मु जहा पढिथिलि 1971 philosophy is a good thing. I don't know. So, Tapi or Abindam Kurude, Nutan Kintadara Tankor of Philospitaku, the Yami Bujiba, see you traditional way of knowledge, but traditional form of life, 
जोटा को आम कहू तार्म हवा दरकार आम पूजा पाठ करने को रिचुआल्स निहाती दरकार युवाक से पसंद कर सी कहते मेडिटेशन सी चाहूल योग से जोटा हूँ कौन पूर्णांग योग इंटिग्रेटेड योग जो अन्य योग ठार भिन्न तेणु ये समस्त इनोभेट आईडिया से गुडा को लेकिन आम फिलोसफी जो पढ़ा फिलोसफी तो कलचर कर रिसर्च करवा तार जी जीवन प्रति उपादेयता र मु भावती ट्रेडिशनल विथ ड्यू एक्सक्यूज टू अल दिज जिनियस पीपल दोज आर प्रेजेंट हि मोर एटा व्यक्तिगत अनुभूति जहाँ मुझे आप कहती जीवन रध्यान काल आम जो फिलोसफी बचे चाहू फिलोसफी को अधिक लोकप्रिय करने को चाहू पाठ खसड़ा तैयारी करने को पड़ो जो पाने उपकृत एवं से जीवन को प्रस्तुत करने गोटे आदर्श जीवन गढ़ियाँ से कार्य लगिपर का नाम समस्त प्रचेषा सफल हो पार नहीं बहुत बहुत धन्यवाद मत बोधे पंद्रह मिनट कह डर पात्र कही लक्षण बाबू किंतु मु कह कह बोधे अध घंटे ठू अधिक आपण मैने धर्जर सहित बसी शुणु तेना समस्त को मोर बहुत बहुत धन्यवाद ये आज जो आम आसंता का जिवस पालन करूँ जी पता उड़ेबू से संबंध में टी मोर गोटे छोट कविता मुझे मानू शुणु आगे ही चल प्रत्येक क्षेत्र में आम आगे जावा तेणु कविता ना, ना हूँ आगे ही चल के काल तुम्हें शासन कर मन की पुरला ना भारतवासी को आत्मजात कर अत्याचार कल जही भारत देशर धनरत्न नहीं शोषण तुम्हें कर मनीष परी बंधुक मन में देशवासी को मार पराधीन हो भयरे मनीष चाकर परी रहिला पराधीन हो भयरे मनीष चाकर परी रहिला कथा कह साहस हुए दुखरे जीवन गला इंग्राजी भाषा को प्रवर्तन करी इंग्राजी भाषा को प्रवर्तन करी अमनीष कर संस्कार संस्कृति सबकि भूली उपत को नहींगल इंग्राजी भाषा को प्रवर्तन करी अमनीष कर संस्कार संस्कृति सबकि भूली उपथ को नहींगल से जुग पुरुष गांधी आम संग्राम आरंभ कले से जुग पुरुष गांधी आम संग्राम आरंभ कले डाक भारत रीर आगे आसिले केड़ खाई सही कर गांधी आग को मारी चलिए केड़ खाई सही कर गांधी आग को मारी चलिए मरी जावा पछे हारी ना शपथ कर मरी जावा पछे हारी ना शपथ कर स्वाधीनता जीवन हारे भारत वीर सतान स्वाधीनता जीवन हारे भारत वीर सतान आगे चल रे भारतवासी जाऊ पछे जीवन आगे चल रे भारतवासी जाऊ पछे जीवन सुभाष बोसर पराक्रम देखी हेले इंग्रेज तही सुभाष बोसर पराक्रम देखी डरिले इंग्रेज तही थर हरा हला इंग्रेज शासन छाड़ बाट ना छाड़ बाट ना अहिंसा नीतिर जय जय कार आशार बाट खोल मुसलिम लीग रुसलीम लीग जिन्नार बुद्धि देश भाग भाग है देश भाग भाग है हिंदू मुसलमान संग्राम करे रक्तर नदी बहिला भाई भाई परी रे सभी देश दुई खंड हैला देश दुई खंड हैला भारत भूमि स्वाधीनता हैला इंग्रेज देश छाड़ा भारत भूमि स्वाधीनता हैला इंग्रेज देश छाड़ा लाल किल्ला रे तिरंगा पता फर फर जे उड़ीला अमृत महोत्सव पालन होमृत महोत्सव पालन हो पचस्तरी वर्ष पर 
तिरंगा उड़ई प्रति घरे घरे शांति ना कपाल शांति ना कपाल आतंकवादी तांडव चली समाधान बाट ना आतंकवादी तांडव चली समाधान बाट ना मन हृदय गांधी नीति को धरी रख देश धरी रख देश गांधी राम राज्य असंभव नुहे गांधी राम राज्य असंभव नुहे मन होल गांधी राम राज्य असंभव नुहे मन होल गांधी दर्शन रे सबु संभव गांधी दर्शन रे सबु संभव भारत माता ही बल भारत माता ही बल जय हिंद जय भारत माता की हरिओम आंतरिक धन्यवाद थैंक यू सर समस्त को शुभे शुभकामनाफेसर गणेश प्रसाद दास को कह कह प्रथम दिन आरंभ कर दिन पर्यत जो मैंने कंट्रीब्यूशन रहा धन्यवाद देदेव प्रिंसिपल को आईसीपीआर को सर सो थैंक यू एवरीवन नाउ आई रिक्वेस्ट तो श्री फ्रांसिस वाला कोऑर्डिनेटर ऑफ दिस वेबिनार सीरीज टू रिक्वेस्ट ए गिव ए वोट ऑफ थैंक्स वेल सर Thank you very much. Francis Barla, unmute yourself. Francis Barla, you are not audible. Am I audible? No. Uh, no, no, okay. Uh. Come here. Eight years. Eight years, yeah. Uh, now am I audible? Yes, 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 yes. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, uh, okay. Uh, secondly, I must extend my thankful uh, to the all the speaker from uh, day one. Uh, Rijam Dongji, sir. रिजाउंड होची दीटा माइक्रोफोन ऑन होची हां हां ओके हां आई मस्ट एक्सटेंड माय थैंकफुल टू ऑल द स्पीकर फ्रॉम डे 1 टू डे 4 अ द फर्स्ट डे स्पीकर प्रोफेसर गणेश प्रसाद दास एंड चारुवाला महंती Uh, and also i thank the second day speaker professor dilip kumar mahanta and professor lakshmikant padhi and uh, also i would like to thank the third day speaker uh, professor tapan de and uh, suryakant maharana and i also thank the fourth day uh, speaker dr atul kumar nanda and uh, डॉक्टर प्रज्ञा प्रकाश निदास कानूनगो आई आई मस्ट थैंक ऑल द स्पीकर बिकॉज दे आर डेलीबरेशन इज सो हाई लेवल दे आर थॉट प्रोवोकिंग बिकॉज ऑल द पार्टीज आई थिंक 
all the participants and all the scholar who uh, who are uh, present over from the day one to day four are largely benefited uh, from their deliberations so i once again thank you all the speaker uh, from the uh, on behalf of uh, the, uh, the pg department of philosophy bikram dev autonomous college jaipur and further i must thank the all the participants because i i uh, i saw their uh, cooperation from the uh, for, for their whole hearted uh, active participations and their engagement to the uh, program so with my co with, from my core of heart i must thank all the participants for their patience for their active participations and last but not the least i must thank the indian council of philosophical research new delhi for uh, the uh, financial assistance without which we cannot able to organize this kind of uh, uh, event so i must thank the icpr new delhi for their uh, financial help and last but not not the least i must thank all the uh, staff of uh, bikram dev autonomous college jaipur because they uh, without their help or without their cooperation with, uh, i think this kind of uh, a pro program could not be possible so once again i thank all, all the okay, okay. and i also because uh, i must thank uh, the chodi lakmor dr lakmor patra uh, for his uh, cooperation of for their for his active uh, uh, participation or active kind of management uh, and without uh, uh, which or without whom i think uh, we cannot be able to organize this kind of seminar or webinar so once again i thank all of you and i think this chair got thile apan tapan da chair got thile sara bonus re wala na kono chair got thile ni टुडे are you there topan sir professor sure, topan sure, sure, sure. okay, okay okay so it is it, it's on we have a pg department of philosophy and any time if you uh, if you want you or need you and definitely we invite you so i hope you definitely cooperate or definitely help us with your presence so sure, sure, thank sure. you for this your brilliant association or brilliant uh, presence uh, for i was i was session session no devata amle ko kare wale रंजन महापात्र मोर सगुन्य धन्यवाद एंड साधुवाद बिकज आज से बहुत चमत्कार भाव जो वक्तव्य द्वारा रखिले तो मुझे भाव में बहुत तांको प्रति साधुवाद एवं धन्यवाद जणाइबी अरे फ्रांसिस हेलो सर तमो बाडी पोट रे गोडे तुलसी गछ उठी थियो ओली घर जाकर झाटो नै तारिबो पकेबो निजो लोगो निजो लोगो को धन्यवाद दिया जाय नै सर तते की आ के निजो लोगो न मु निजो लोगो समस्त निजो लोगो ये निजो से पोले ओनै बे छथि ये बड़ो लघु छ ला आ निजो परो बोलिम त करंती समस्त नै ओ सर सॉरी सर यो ब्रो ऑब्जर्व टू फॉर्मलिटीज Okay. So, uh, thank you, thank you all. Uh, namaskar. Thank you, thank you, namaskar, namaskar. Thank you, everyone. 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 टू ऑल ऑफ यू ऑन द ऑफ़ 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 ऑफ
uh, for your kind cooperation, active participation. Thank I you. express my <coughs> great gratitude from the core of my heart. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Stay happy always. Stay happy always. Agogu madhya asa kori bi samastha evali sahojo sahojo kala hai. Main agogu bahut jai pariu kahi na department or gote pancha varsar only five years. But we are organizing so many seminars and webinars with comparison the other departments. Really, so the credit goes to Professor J P Das. Also, the credit goes to I C P R. So sponsor to us for financial assistance. Thank you, everyone. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. Thank you. Now the session is over. So much to go. Subha Kamana and happy Independence Day. Jai Hind. Thank you, sir. Thank you.